Hi, I'm Fog, and we're so glad that you're joining us, Chasing Foxfires, our home game of Dungeons & Dragons. Before we start, we'd like to give a quick shout out to Sirenscape, which is an amazing program that helps you manage your soundtracks, as well as a variety of background sounds. Um, they're amazing, we use them all the time, so definitely check them out at sirenscape.com. Last session. The party planned to return from the Feywild to the Material Plane. You did all manage to do so. There were no crit fails. But unfortunately, you didn't all land in the same place. Eridrian, Reaver, Nax, and Sam all found themselves in Thorne's workshop, um, successfully having brought a somewhat dazed dwarf home. But unfortunately, they were missing Finn and Denarian. Still hearing Sam's chanting in their head, they focused on, there's no place like home, and found themselves in Thul and Denarian's home village, respectively. With magic returned to the world, Denarian had quite a heartwarming moment with his mom, where she showed him her new affinity for nature even more than she already had. And he showed her more or less all of his spells, he had also, very unfortunately, lost all of his memories of the Feywild. Finn, on the other hand, had quite a nice time with Luna. He told her, the Kaniga, and Siathind what had all happened in Orion, and over breakfast learned a little bit over, um, about what Luna had gone through in the last few years. Meanwhile, in Aglarond, the rest of the party was deciding how to best pick up everyone and how to best go about it. Sam wanted to take a tour of the city and introduce the group to the guards at the Fortress of a Thousand Tears so that you guys could utilize the teleportation circle at the bottom of it, which apparently Thorne had shown you a form of drawing of. However, both Reaver and Nax instead pressed for urgency as the group was once again being watched by Nax's secret admirer. Reaver received a message from them, threatening that the attacks would become more dangerous. And as such, Sam, wanting to go to Denarian's village first, kind of willed the party to teleport there, um, gave Denarian some false memories in an attempt to help him to remember something of the Feywild. He picked up Denarian and on Reaver's urging, quickly returned to Thul, where he had a brief chat with Siathind, who, between Finn and Sam telling her more or less everything that had happened and the questions you asked, figured out that Nax was none other than Apotamkin Narsix, who she apparently knew about. And she wasn't necessarily too happy about that. So you left on not necessarily great terms. And we left off with all of you being in Thul, staying within the hallowed ground, and having the remainder of the day. What would you like to do? Yep, my beach idea didn't, is still, uh, is, that, is that flying with anyone? Just, you know. Taking what? two seconds before what the next thing. Season? What is the season? It's the end of winter, but in Thul, the closer you are to the heart of Thul, the mountain where Seathind resides, um, the warmer it is. So winter in the heart of the land feels feels like a Scottish summer. Okay, so not a beach episode, but totally an onsen episode. Is there like pools of water around the mountain that have been warmed? The yes, there are hot springs at the foot of the mountain that, you know, are frequently visited just by the local residents. Well, I'm going there. Unfortunately, oh, yeah, I... we can't leave the hallowed ground until Nax learns his spell. Oh, yes. Fancy a bit of a spar, Reaver? It's been, been a... feels like it's been a while. It's been a while. Um... Uh, spin the scythe. There's like a black whoosh of flame, and the scythe becomes a longsword. Okay. Um, <laughs> and I'll call the replica uh, rapier to my hands. 
and the scimitar to the other. Oh, you said sparring. I heard spa, and I was like, where are we going to find one of them inside the Well, war? I mean, that's, but... that's later, but right now we're just kind of, and I'll start, like, <laughs> trying to, like, to put sort of swords in between, like, I know I need to try some new stuff out. Oh, I thought you said spa as well. Reaper was just ready for a stabbing. <laughs> a spa? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, it's it would be in keeping with the group, to be honest. Yeah, no. Um... Yeah. So how how long did it? How long is it taking for Nax to learn the the don't look at a spell? I have four hours left of sitting and poring over my mysterious notes, picking oh. apart the spell. Okay. Then yeah, Reaver yeah. will be definitely sparring partner for Finn for a few hours. Um. I'll also put on the heavy armor whilst doing it as a sort of weight trading exercise as well. Okay. With, which with my seven strength, you know I can't use that properly. <laughs> <laughs> I okay. will rehearse um, a mixture of storytelling and music whilst they're doing that, maybe just at the side of the garden. Have You've taken on the surreal fire top persona again, haven't you? Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh, blonde, blue eyes, Thulean, um, like golden freckles, uh, scales across the face. Um, and I've gotten changed as well. Male or female? Female, right? Yes, yeah, su- surreal's a, f- a female. Okay. Noted. Okay, a Redrian Denarian, is there anything you'd like to do? Enjoy being home. So it's just around the home that oh. we have, right? Yes. Home away from home. I will rebuild my little uh, house. My my house between the houses. You can tell Denarian that your house between the houses has definitely um, sustained some weather damage. But you also notice that an attempt has been made to put things back. Now, you can clearly see that this is, you would never build it the the way it's been reconstructed. So someone else has tried to attempt to fix it for you. Someone with knowledge of um, wood house building skills. Uh, looks like there is some structural integrity to it. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. Okay. As you all kind of go about a somewhat more relaxed day, you know, despite the looming threat of if you step outside the 60 radius circle, you might be attacked. There is a, a little bit of a, a break that's happening. Um, ever so rudely interrupted, roughly midday, when you all hear, Hello! Who? What? Source? Those of you who are outside, in your front garden, is a bent over older woman, bent over clearly because she's been working her years bending down the way. She's like got a hunch going. She's walking with a walking stick. There's a short gray knot of hair atop her head. And she's kind of standing there holding her stick, waving, trying to wave it at the houses at the same time. Hello. Uh, Hello. Ah, you there. Perfect. Come over here, young man. I step towards, trying to be conscious, yeah, yeah. keeping inside the border. Is she just outside the body? Border? She's inside as well. Oh, oh, I totally jump over, bound over. Okay. Hello. As you walk over, she looks at you with um, a very judgmental look. 
And she starts walking around you, like, mm. Well, you are somewhat scrawny, aren't you? Mm. Text thoughts. Mm. Streamlined. <laughs> Who's casting the tech thoughts? Uh, it's Serial, um, just in the background, has got detect thoughts going up, just getting the skinny on what's going on here. Okay, surface thoughts or deeper thoughts? Oh, deeper. Okay, oh, wisdom okay. saving throw? Right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, that's only an eight. Oh. Okay. But just ca- carry on with the scene and fill me in afterwards. Or I it becomes pertinent. will do exactly that. Oh, no. Um, you'll appreciate why. Good. Denarian. As you say, streamlined. She kind of looks at your hair, picks out a twig. Meh. Untidy habit. It's a good for the complexion, these twigs. And an outsider as well. <sighs> She grumbles a bit to herself, takes a few steps back, and then she's not very tall because she's bent over, but takes a kind of a power stance with both of the hands on the cane, legs wide, and is like, and tell me, how do you think to provide for someone? Um, I'm good at hunting. Um... I'm really good at a sword, and I can do magic. Okay, and does that bring food on the table? Hunting does. Can we hear this? Yes, she's not quiet. I'm just gonna yell over. We've also got like loads of gold. <laughs> oh, gold, you outsiders, and your gold. And a big wine business. Mm-hmm. The strawberry wine is amazing. Wine? Okay, okay. Um, may, may I have the name of, of you who I have a pleasure of speaking with? I'm Denarian. Yeah, I've heard plenty of you, Denarian. My name is Frederica. A pleasure to meet you, and I emulate one of Sam's beautiful courteous bows. As like, maybe I accidentally knock a twig out of my hair or something. Yes. As you do so, like another leaf that was stuck in there kind of twirls down. Like, and you smell of wet dog on top of all of it, but I suppose I'm kind of used to that. Where's the dog? Um, I just whistle behind me. It's a wolf. Greggy comes pounding over. She seems entirely unimpressed by the fact that this is a full grown, massive wolf. Marissa. Yes. Can I? I think I, I think I know who this person is, but can Finn just ascertain the the reason, the rationale behind this woman's like? Is she sizing her up for a potential employment, or as a meal, or what is her? Why? What? Is she, why is she being so antagonistic? I think I know why, but I just want to. I don't want to meta it. You can insight check if you want. But considering Finn's general wisdom, I think you would also, you know, understand. Doing two together. Yeah. Not okay, cool. No, that's yeah. all I need to know. Kinda. Okay. Well, boy. Show me those arms. Show. Do you have some muscle? I, I hold up my, my weedy arms. Uh... How do you hunt with those? With skill and sneakiness. I can be quite quiet. Okay, okay, okay. What do you know about plants? Oh, okay, I start. Um, I want to have a quick look around and see every plant I can see with them in my vicinity, vicinity and explain all the properties of them, what can they can be used for, when they grow, etc. Halfway if through, like she's it. like, Okay, enough. I think you'll do, but just so you know, barely. I'll be seeing you again, young man. She turns around. Want tea? As she turns around. 
Mm. No. Tea? I'm sure we'll have a chance to drink tea later at some point. And shakily, she just kind of walks off. You hear the, the cane tick, 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 on the stone path as she walks away. Turn around, head towards a group. I oh, wonder who she was. I oh. hop up to my feet and just congratulate Daenerian. And just like, I'm so happy for you. This is tremendous. Oh, pat you on the back. The full shebang. It was a bow, wasn't it? I've been copying you for quite a while. I think it was just your general attitude and the impression that you made on the people around here. Like, that is a high bar to pass, my friends. Begrudging well, approval is what yeah. you got from that, Sam. Begrudging approval is like, there's two words. That, that's what she thought to herself, was the words begrudging approval. <laughs> begrudging. Yeah. Congratulations. It's begrudging a good thing. Like scoring. Well, I mean... Meeting the in-laws is always a really challenging step. Those were the in-laws? <laughs> or were just a random <laughs> Alright, so were those the in-laws? Okay, good. Yeah, of course. Duh, I didn't even need to read her thoughts. But I did, obviously. Begrudging respect. I mean, that was a complete Approval. gross violation of privacy, but what did she say? Begrudging approval. Like I said, those exact just words. <laughs> Inside of a head, yeah. Okay. I mean, there you were, there know, was, there was there an was addition fluff. there of um, actually a little bit of concern, mm. overprotectiveness. I got that. Definitely. Right. Um, mm. Since you probe deeper, there is a little bit of that kind of worry that um, usually parents have. Um, which she seemed to be quite old to be Gina's parent mm, directly. Gina, I thought yeah. Damn. But um, uh, she seemed to be a little concerned about you know. Oh, my daughter, my granddaughter's already doing something yeah, yeah, yeah. slightly dangerous as a job, and even though it's respected, I'm a bit you know hmm, unhappy about it. I know there's another one of those nature lovers and now it's just going to be even more out there that kind of thought process I, I think the important thing is that uh, you demonstrated um, a competency with nature that is reassuring for someone whose uh, granddaughter is uh, you know in a dangerous pr profession alongside You know, I mean, we're filthy outsiders. Do we value the same things? Are we, can we keep a granddaughter safe? Begrudging approval. Nature is a universal language that we can all speak. So is parenthood. Well, I, I guess. I don't think anyone else here is a parent. I look suspiciously uh, at Nax. It would be really awkward if we didn't know this by now. I mean, Nax but, is um, like... Hundreds of years old, and, and so are you, Sam. From thousands. Let's Truly. Na Nax is thousands. I'm hundreds. Never so, had any. I am your old father. Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. Na Nax is our answer. Yeah, no, I, I. You never ask, but yeah, of course I have kids. You do? Yeah. Well, not, we still have, not like. Me personally, but like previous people that are uh, identities that I've taken. Uh huh. Like, there's a whole noble house that I found. It got kind of boring, well, so I left. Stop a couple hours on uh, Nax learning the spell, so. Do tell. I start yeah. to build a campfire. I, I, build the camp I build the campfire inside the house. No, mm, mm, no at least do it in the fireplace. <laughs> Look at that works. Campfire in the fire. What would you like to know? Just tell. Tell me a story. I've got like an hour until we can leave this place. Wow. The last person I was before I became Sam, her name was Jaina, and she was of the noble line of the Chaldeans uh, in Orion, on the east coast, so yeah, we never met. Um, and I've got a family tree in heraldry that I 
have totally got ready to show you right now. Here they are. It's only half How done. How many trees are they? Yeah. No elves invented trees. Uh, elves invented trees. Elves invented trees. Of course. Cool, it makes so much sense. Did you, you know the dwarves invented rocks? I did. Yeah, it's amazing. Who invented the air, though? Dragons. Makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense. My god, I didn't realize. Fish invented water. I was going to say clouds invented air. Who <laughs> invented clouds? I take, the, I take the moment that Finn joins in the other conversation to crack him on the back of the head with the blunt side of a longsword. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Don't have conversations while we're sparring, Finn. Yeah, Finn, I taught you that, remember? You get stabbed. You're always talking while we fight, sir. Yeah. One of the That's greatest... Like that, I, I, as soon as I start to like go, that's your thing. I, I brace for Reaver to about to hit me again. <laughs> <laughs> It's one of my greatest abilities, is to trash talk in any given instant. But also make really deep and probing questions about someone's history. Um, yeah, no, it was the thing. I was, well, they, my past self, was really bored and um, decided that maybe building a noble household that spanned uh, several, several generations uh, would be interesting. And it was to start with. Then it was not. And so they left. And the rest is recent history. Interesting. She was pretty good with a, like... Uh, she was a mountain combatant. She liked jousting. Why do you say it in such a third-person tone? Things get complicated with the before I died and the after I died. Which time? The, in the tunnels died? Yeah, yeah, like the, like the... I went to the land of death and kind of dissolved a little bit before coming back. You remember that whole time where I was a bit like... Pretty weird. What's real and what's not real? I'm glad you're better now. Honestly, the new me is so much nicer than the old me. Like, they were... A, that's a rude word. Um, they were very apathetic towards the value of human life. From it's literally only a matter of time before Reaver would have had had them slain. From in the kitchen, you hear, "Yeah, death will do that to you." Yeah. In this case, it was actually long life that did that to them. Ironically, ironically, dying and coming back made me value life more. That. Huh. That. Th that's what I meant. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Your wisdom is, like, on too high a tier for me to, like, automatically catch up with. Remind Noctis of that, please. Noctis, your sister is wiser than you are. Okay, I did that. I don't think it distracted him enough for uh, Finn to get a hit. Maybe Damn next time. It. Thanks. Damn it. <laughs> I, I like I like stop what I'm doing and like stare off into the distance for a moment. And like as as Finn runs over for the hit, I cast armor oh, no, on Finn, myself. Finn, Finn's wise that's no that's <laughs> right. So yeah, I made a family. A dynasty really. We were quite powerfully politically. Don't have an inn anymore, though, because, you know. An inn? Well, yeah, they all think I'm dead. Oh, have you met an actual inn building? Oh. Yeah, I thought you meant somewhere to stay. I was like, what kind oh. of dynasty owns an inn? Oh, no, we had a lot of land. We probably had several inns. We should open up an inn. Do you think we could convert these two buildings to an inn? We could just use my uh, space boat. Because we have... Where would we live? Inside the space boat. We live in the middle bit. I built a house between our houses. We all live there. And we have one building on the left for wine. And a building on the right for tea. Your collection like... of, of moss-covered sticks. Yeah. This is a plan. No, is I'm going to use the space boat. I'm sorry. I know or... we used to 
building houses out of leaves and twigs and such near in, but some of us require nicer luxuries in life. Daenerian, it's rare that I agree with Eridrian, but I find that building houses out of dreams is a much more um, comforting uh, and stable structure than um, trees. Which, dream, as you know, what? Yeah. Your dreams can just shatter down around you after 24 okay. hours, yeah. But then you just build a new one. Did you know that changelings invented dreams? Should start writing all this down. Mm. Knowledge. I don't know that we did. Max, it's, it's... how long have you got? Don't distract him. Jeez, oh, that's another half hour. <laughs> As you near, just made me rub it all out with my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Grumble one half hour later. Um, As you near the end of your for our study time. Halfway through, probably moving to the other house because Daenerion would definitely have sat down in the house where you were trying to study. Um, so, you know, adding on an extra 10 minutes. But after your, your study period is over, Nax, you've learned your new spell. They're just lucky it wasn't a fire-based spell that I was learning. It would have been a very different process. <laughs> Walk out the house. I have learned the spell. <laughs> <laughs> and now, fool this dies. is the only spell I'm learning at the moment, by the way. You know, so oh, no. just to focus my attention on this one for just now. What other spells anyway, are you learning at the moment? Max? That's for me to know, and you would hope you'll never find out. <laughs> I have concerns. I found a very interesting spell book a while ago. I think it was Lysander's, if I remember correctly. If oh, that no. gives you any kind of. Uh, Is your idea. are your horns going to turn into eyeball stalks? <laughs> Dude, uh, Ly Lysander was the witch. <laughs> For, Moving on. For reference, though, Lysander was the one that started a cannibal cult, right? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Just. Mm -hmm. This is Wait. this is safe. <laughs> I, I forgot. Are you de I mean, mm -hmm. he forgot yep. about it in the end. So. No, he killed them all. No, I mean, well, I know, but he, he forgot about it. He so. consumed their souls to turn into like an eternal undead. No, 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 he, like, I think when, when he became a lich, he, he found regret and wiped out his entire cannibal cult because they turned yeah. out to be a bad thing. He also found true love? We'll do that to you. Mm. Oh, Lysander. You cut off his head. Anyway, have you worked out what we're doing for the day? Should I get on and prepare myself for yeah. departing this old drone. Ah, yeah. Ooh, that's a good point. Plans. We got distracted talking about uh, lineage. Uh, I think... I, well, I remember talking to Luna about going to, going to see the new arrivals. Um, mm -hmm. where, but that's a few days away. And I'm not making the same mistake of thinking it's going to be a quick journey. With or without horses, it's going to be a couple of days. So okay. a few days. A few I need days. to check in with Roni before we leave. Okay. Oh, yeah, Roni. Yeah, that, that guy that we um, rescued from um, Abletoft. Mm -hmm. Magical merchant of a. Uh, I'm trying to of a way to say some sort mercurial of mercurial you know, like, temperament. Did he not? Did he not make stuff? Yeah, it's like a craft. And he tried. He, yeah, and he tried to. And he sold. I think he actually gave me a couple of the things I'm, I'm using at the moment. Like we saved them. Yeah. So we had saved them. He owes us kind of. So. Well, I think he owes us because we got him out of Ableton when shit was was hitting the fan. Mm -hmm. Should we ask if he wants to go back now that, like, obviously, we fixed that issue? Yeah. We did fix that issue. You should check in with your 
deity person that they've not enacted some sort of fiendish plan to return to the mortal coil. Who? The God King. Again, they they weren't a god. They were just some person with magic with powers. incredible branding. Yes, they had a good PR person, but uh, we did in fact cut their head off. I don't. It's I don't... true. And they baited us into attacking them in their castle and killing them. So clearly they had some sort of plan to do that. No, they thought Why they were else? a god. So they thought they could take us all in a I'm not sure that they did think one that. fight with a, also a face person. All I know is that they, for no reason, uh, attacked Cracky. And that just begging for us to attack us. To attack them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. I'm just raising my concerns again so that A, it's not a surprise, and B, I can say I told you so louder. Uh, okay. I'm pretty, sure. I'm pretty sure I already checked, right? Yes, and no. yes, then. <laughs> Man, this is going to be... This is the unfortunate thing of having a PC that can just randomly be like, I want to scry on this individual from like 60 sessions ago. Um, but it, just to mention of Abletoff, Jared, uh, the portmaster, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I want to just check to see if he's still alive. Because you know, Aerie unfortunately died. And I then gave, I cannot remember the, the kid's name, unfortunately. Ah, uh, it. I will find it eventually, but um, I just want to check that he's still keeping things running, and he and he himself is still running. You checking on the power vacuum that we left in off? Basically, yeah. Mm. <laughs> you well. can certainly scry on him. Could you read me the? Do you have the spell open? I can in two seconds. Okay. Which Do you want to um, dream to them later on this evening, Ken? No, no. I, th- I think, you know, that's just a something that, one, I don't feel comfortable doing, to, and then just, no, completely. Why no. not? Just, no. Um, just so having well a look is... at the um, modifiers for the save. Obviously, you know him super well, which mm-hmm. means... It's a minus five if we know the target well. Yeah, exactly. Uh-huh, uh, uh-huh, I don't have uh-huh. a, I don't have anything. I don't have like his to- toenail clippings, so unfortunately, that's not going to be too much in the way of mm. neg- negative of the modifier. Well, that's an eleven on the dice, um, so no, he does not make the save. Exactly. So, taking a moment to check in on Jared. Your vision fades before you get a warm feeling inside you, the kind of, you know, drinking a very warm tea on a cold day, the feeling. And as you open your eyes again, you find yourself standing behind Jareth in the very familiar um, greenhouse that he tends to. Um, he seems to be placing something in the dirt. You can imagine as obsessed as he was with his plants, he's probably, you know, putting something new in. Um, Is Cole there? Because that's the name of the kid. <laughs> you see two figures um, just outside your, your ring of focus. So to say you can roll a perception check to figure out if you know who they are. Oh, it's... No, it's... I was going to say it's a natural one, but it's a seven. Um, So, 17? Okay. Um, You do see a a kind of youthful figure standing near him, which you know, or knew Cole well enough to, even from the outline, um, judge that that's most likely him. You also see... um, off to the side stand someone who appears to have a very, very dark brown skin. Um, you can't quite make them out. They're, they're just outside your, your, your point of your field of view, so to say. 
Um, so it's as if they're entirely blurred. But what does stand out is that you, you see the dark skin and you see what looks to be like bright orange or bright red hair. Now- I remember him. Jareth, you... Bye. You did meet him. Jareth, you might remember. Um, it's definitely an older gentleman, but with a very strong air of, I don't care for any of your bullshit. And that still doesn't appear to have changed as he's like just, and he seems to be talking to this person, but he's entirely, you know, visually ignoring them, putting stuff into the ground. He still has the same kind of long gray ponytail, although it maybe seems slightly grayer than it was previously. The hawkish face is still set to a, like a more or less permanent frown. As he looks down and just, you know, seems to be speaking to his plants almost as he says, I really do not care for the fact that you are running out of money now that your drug business is gone. If you want to introduce a new drug, you can certainly try. You're not selling it on my streets. What you do on your own, your own problem. But the moment I smell anything else of that crap, you're done for. And without looking up, are we clear? And you hear this voice respond. It's just just distorted enough that you can't quite make out what it says. And you see him, you know, it's kind of surprisingly lovingly tuck something in. Seems seems like he could have walked in on on him like any other day. Definitely alive. Um, I'll kind of like, uh, probably in the t probably just in time for a Reaver to smack me in the head uh, again with a sword because I never said I'd, I never said I walked away from the. Uh, you do need to take ten minutes, I believe, to cast a spell. So well, as, as you yes. need like a pot of holy water as well. So I love the idea that you're just doing this whilst sparring. As you've been sitting oh. there, Reaver's just been like playing like Django with twigs on you. So you've got like twigs on your yeah. shoulder, across your head, like balancing on the edges of your knees and stuff. Like thirteen twigs fall and hit me in the head. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll kind of look up and go, Django. A uh, fair. Um, so the drug business is not booming. Jared <laughs> is still Jared. I, yeah. Reaver turns around to look over to like Aridrian and that through the window. Like I thought it was wine. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that it was Jared. Like T H, not D. Did uh, Jared? That's my that's my bad that's my bad handwriting. See, like, it makes my D look was, like T H. There was a dude. I can't remember his name. One of the district leaders. Now he either had orange eyes or there was something orange or gold about him. I can't remember what it was. Finn. But did you see him? How's he doing? Rashkill. Yes. That sounds about right. Uh, he the, was there. The drug mm. Um And he has unfortunately not got any drugs to sell. Um, Good news. And he's, all, he's uh, also not going to be introducing any new drugs. Uh, because Jared did the thing. Jared, Jared did the thing. You know the thing. When he's like, he's not even looking at you. And he says, he gives you kind of like a, are we clear? And you're like, yeah, there's no, there's no room for a discussion here. It's a day, yeah, okay. I, so no, okay. No, I never got told off by him. I'm sorry, Reaver, you're speaking really quietly. I can't hear what you're saying. Uh, just, I'm happy that they're doing okay. It's good. Uh, I wonder how the storytelling contest is going. Oh, I gave them a bunch of money and uh, said, give it to the person who wins the storytelling contest in a month's time. I'm sure that went exactly how you wanted it to go. <laughs> Listen, very There's few so things many. in my life that I set up uh, go the way I want them to go. But only oh. after I stop paying active attention, so it's fine. Oh. Well, that 
do we want to go to the springs and relax for a day or two maybe before, or just you know an hour or two before we have to go back to the continent and you know Denarian's already people. left by this point just a quick outline of where Denarian was where are you going Denarian? okay so first of all I'm gonna go pick some flowers then as I'm about to pick flowers I think oh this is actually a really bad thing because then I'm gonna kill some flowers and then she won't really like dead flowers so I'm probably gonna go find some sticks and then as I find some good sticks, I think, no, that's what Greki does and brings me sticks. And that's kind of weird. So I'm actually just going to find some nice looking pebbles. That's what I'm just edged on. Are you walking to the woods to do so? Yes. I'm assuming before everybody buggers off, we're going to get Max to do the thing. Yes. Well, Denarian said he's just left. Emphatically. Walk. I love the idea that Daenerys just like, yes, Nax has learned the spell. I'm not waiting for him to cast it. I'm just going to go get flowers now. Oh, yes. I legit thought that was him done. Okay, well, I've gone. Well, <laughs> yes, he has learned it. He's just not cast it yet. Oh, maybe he to cast did it. Oh, well. ask. So I'll give you, I'll give you the, the chance. Would you have no. made it? Or would Daenerys? Yeah. That's honestly, that's what I thought. It's gone. I'm sorry. Certainarian. I really tried. <laughs> this particular spell does not take long to cast, but I've got a couple other spells that I was planning on casting before we depart. To be fair, Nax, Denarian does have a tendency of walking off when he starts getting bored. Yeah. So, okay, give me one second. Well, I said. One second. Yep. Oh, it's, it's the. Denarian's done the thing again, pile. Yeah. I waited <laughs> until he learned the spell, like... Uh-oh. Oh no, no we don't uh, need another camp. No. Oh no, there's a, there's a map. Oh, that's, I mean, just, a, a visually. that's, that's just you. <laughs> Why okay, I just... Denarian. <laughs> oh, Did you just have, buddy. Did you just have me pre... <laughs> Sometimes Shoot. in life, Did one just... has to learn the consequences of their actions. Why was I already on the map? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> It was always Denarian. Denarian. <laughs> As yeah. you are picking flowers. Stones. And then go no, to sticks. And Ricky starts helping you, you know, very enthusiastically pick up sticks. And then you realize you don't want to pick up sticks. You start looking for pretty pebbles. Can I? No. <laughs> Bat star. Can I? No. Can I? Oh, no. I assume that Denarian is with Greki. Yes. The and first one said natural 20. Oh, my God. Denarian. Yeah? I rolled two sixes on the 2d6 that I'm rolling. I rolled three sixes on the 3d6 that I'm rolling. The last one was thankfully a one. You take 21 points of damage as you're bent over and you suddenly feel something sharp stab you between the ribs. That was the first attack. Do I? Do I get a chance to dodge or, or like a... So considering that this is a surprise round, you cannot take reactions. Okay. Yes. Okay. I believe that a 14 doesn't break your AC, does it? It does not. Okay. <sighs> I'm gonna have to start keeping track of this. How about a 23? That does hit. Okay. Um, how do you feel about another 14 points of damage? Not great. Okay. Okay. Um, does a 21 hit? No, it does not. But I will use my reaction though. You cannot use your reactions this round because it's a surprise round. Then a 21 does hit. Okay. That's another 12 points of damage. Gonna be here for a while. How do you feel about a 15? Nope. I mean, I'm not great about it. Okay. 
24 hits, right? 24 hits. Okay. It's another 9 point. I mean, I mean, worst comes to worst here, there's only like 7 can reach you, right? How many, how many people? 15 doesn't hit. Does not. 25 does. Does. Okay. It's another 11 points. Jesus Christ. I have diamonds. Unceremonious end to a player character in a campaign ever. Picking don't stones to... for love interest. That's how I want to go out. <laughs> it's actually plus wonderful. Five to your maximum HP, just FYI. How much? Yeah. Five to your maximum HP, because I did cast aid on everyone. Every morning. Well, every morning. Every morning. 24 to hit. It does hit. Another 14 points of damage. It's another natural 20. But that's also 3 ones so far. Oh. So, you know. Win some, you lose some. But did we not introduce this new rule where if you rolled once on a natural 20, everyone got to re-roll them? Uh, yeah. What goes for players goes for the DM, guys. Yes. That's a good rule. I've forgotten we'd introduced it. Another 21 points of damage. How are you doing, Denarian? I am looking rough, okay. but still standing. Okay. 23 to hit. Oh, that hits. Just. Okay. Ooh. It's still the surprise round. Yeah. There is a lot of what? it. Mm -hmm. um, how many held actions do you think were? That's uh, another 7 points of damage. We are just assuming it's one. It could be many. Nineteen. I'm thinking that. Two hits. Does not. Okay. Well, that definitely misses. Oh. This is why you don't split the party, guys. I rolled another Three. natural twenty. Oh my god! <laughs> Ryan, take those dice away from her. Give her your your crit fail dice, please. It's another 22 points. I am looking very rough. Okay. Well, I've got good news and bad news. The last two, first one is 24 to hit. That hits. Eight points of damage. Oh God. That, that max temp HP is- um, Fucking cry again. Is uh, getting used. <laughs> Oh no, Marissa, you did. I did. Why? I'm really she's, sorry. She's crit farming with an invisible army. <laughs> <laughs> Could be worse. No, it can't. <laughs> 17 points of damage. It's okay, Greki's gone. I am down. Okay. Never mind. Oh, shit. I don't mean to be very annoying. But there's still one more to hit. Oh no. Now, thankfully, you are quite crowded. Greki, <laughs> however. Oh no. Does a 22 hit Greki? It does. Um, I can't remember what his armor cloak is. Over here. 22. 22 does hit, though. Okay, he takes 13 points of damage. It's another 24 to hit. Hit on Greki. Yep. You can add another 15 to that. There's a 20 not natural hit Greki. What just hits. Okay. Another eight points of damage. That's a definite miss. Well, I just rolled two natural ones. So That's there is easy. that. Yep. So those two probably killed each other by accident. You're fine. Yeah. Totally. 
I rolled a natural one and a natural 20. And unfortunately I'm rolling at advantage, not disadvantage. That is 24 points of damage. It's another not natural 20 on Greki. 10 points. 10 points. Yep. I'm really sorry, I rolled another natural 20. It's, I'm rolling two different dice. And it's not the same dice that I keep critting on. <laughs> the dice gods have decided that today is just the day. I'm not even getting to roll anything. It could be That's... my day as well, it could be my day. 14 points of damage. Still, still a surprise Cracky round. Cracky is yeah. just down. Okay. Is that both of you down? I both of us down. Okay. We cut back to the party. Oh wait, does Greki get the 5 hit temp HP? Greki wasn't included. Then yes, down. Okay. We can go shopping, I need to see Roni, uh, maybe a spa day as well. Oh, it's going to be great. I mean, I'll just wait. I need I need like twenty minutes to cast some spells and that before we. No rush. Yeah, no, that's fair. I mean, uh, cast some spells. I've already, nah, I've already cast. I'll say I'm not gonna cast more. Was where did the nearing go? Was he not here? I was about to, you know, pick us up. Oh, with the telepathic bond, that would be really useful. Yeah, where is Denirian? Yeah. Greki, um, where's Denirian? Did we find hear him? anything? Nax has been concentrating on learning a spell for the past four hours. I, yes, but I'm, a, I'm assuming an army attacking a wolf would make noise. The Nerian just walked off into the kind of meadow forested area, which it isn't too far away from the home. Maybe like 100, 150 feet or so. Um, Marissa? Yes? Could I send uh, Tori, my raven, uh, just to go uh, try and find Greki will be from. Try and find Greki. Uh, it's, it's and just like, call three times when you find if you find them. So there, it's like a really small warded space. He, he can't be. Is he playing hide and seek? He's not left. I, oh god. Um, are there any tracks? Did we? Did anybody see him leave? Finn was crying. I had Sam's got a high passive perception. 21. Yes. You were inside. I'm going to have you roll a perception check, which is more to see how much you attention you were paying. That's good. 23. Okay. You remember him getting up and leaving. You presumed he was just going yeah, just to, to his outside hut. Right. Yeah. As Daenerian does. Yeah. But, you know, Daenerian being Daenerian, you did see him leave. It wouldn't be surprising if he did a Daenerian. Uh, I do remember him going outside. I don't remember him actually leaving, leaving, but at the same time, uh, that was, that was like at least six seconds ago, guys. Uh... Anyway, I'm gonna busy casting these spells. You should cast these spells as quickly Tell me as when possible. You're ready to go. Uh, I, Luna, no, Daenerys. message Daenerys. Okay. The Daenerys. Yes. <laughs> Sam's getting tea. Cool. Okay, I was like, I can't <laughs> tell if the RP is really committed here. <laughs> <laughs> Just lying on his webcam. He's blacked out. Um. You said. Sorry, out to look, Finn. Can I have a perception check from you, Reaver? Um, Luna. It's like, okay, sure. Why the rush? Uh, Twenty-four. <sighs> okay. And kind of, you see her get a, that kind of vacant look that Finn does as well. Mm-hmm. He's not responding. Okay. Oh shit. 
Shit, shit, shit. Denarian, do you have your dice with you? Um, I have the D&D Beyond. It's never okay. been easy. Are you sure you want to trust the D&D Beyond D20? I... Y yes. Okay. Go get your dice. No, 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 I've got this, I've got this. Okay. D &D just... Beyond, you too can survive assassination attempts. Can I have Is from you... Is this just one D20? Yes. Oh, can I have from you a death save, please? He could. Is doing it? Taking very long to load. Not showing up on our screen. Yeah. It's just this question long. mark. <laughs> Schrodinger's. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. I see a 15. But there's a 15. Okay. That was that was D and D Beyond really wondering if you were worth it. Is to play. He hasn't paid a yeah. subscription. Can so. I have a second death save from you? Nobody. I want one for Grecky as well. One thing at a time. Because the mage is slow. I go get oh, a day. So slow. I know, right? Why is it? Attention. It's, it's milking it. First to finish, but the antis. I'm seeing. I'm seeing the dice roll super slowly. <laughs> oh, oh, oh that's a three. three. <laughs> okay. I'd get your dice, mate. Okay, you're still neck and neck. This... I'm gonna ask you for one okay. more for now. I'm gonna go get my dice. <laughs> I think it's the one more might be the last one as well, if it goes bad. Finn. Yes. Well, time to get this dice. Um, not too long passes before you hear, call, call, call. Oh, sorry, found him. Go this way. Am I up on trauma? Where exactly? Um, I'll point over to there, and I'll I'll start heading over. Like a hundred feet to the east of where your home is. So does Finn have that information on him? Yeah, I've, like, I've conveyed, I've looked, I point and you can see circling in the sky is Tori, my raven, uh, calling, I'm like, oh, nope, they're over there. And I'll head over, um, but not. Okay. Yeah, Weaver. I'm going to action cast true sight. Okay. Then grab Finn mm -hmm. and dimension door to underneath Tori. Okay. Oh. Watch. Because memeing aside, Reaver would be freaking the fuck out because he knows what we're facing and it basically going out there is a uh, come to Thule. Okay. Hold that thought. Denarian for Greki. First one. Oh, that's a three. Okay. Second one. It's a ten. It's a Ooh, success. Yeah. That does pass. Yeah. Third one. Six. Okay. Okay, Reaver and Finn. Okay. You dimension door? Yep. Yep. Okay. I will put these minis. Okay. I have a reaver right here. Finn. Yep. Arriving on the scene. You see, first of all, Daenerya and Greki both lying down amidst a pile of sticks and pebbles. And you see in the grass next to them, written in blood that you can presume to be theirs. This is only the beginning. 
Ooh. Can I react? Give me a second. In a moment. Because some people were prepared. Now, I do not have enough of where where is the camera? Enough of these to oh, no. put down ten of the same looking. Oh no. But let's pretend that all of them look like that for a moment. You can see right. this, Finn, Reaver. Mm-hmm. Daenerian, quick question. This this is just for math's sake and, and an ability. How, what's your maximum HP, including the five I gave you with aid? Um. So whatever you're normalized with plus five. I can't can't see it because it's on death saving throws. That is <laughs> one seventeen plus five. One seventeen plus five. Oh damn. Okay, yeah, no, this this is going to be good for you. Uh, well, what I'm about to do, anyways. What's Grecky's? Uh, I'm not trying to meta, it's, it's, it's for an ability. 83, unmodified. Perfect. Okay. So I don't know if you can still see yourself. Um, Finn, you're there? Yep. Reaver, you're here? Reaver? Yep. You can actually not see the text on the ground particularly well, as you see 10 now familiar figures stand around Daenerian and Greki. They all appear to be made up out of air more than anything else. Um, all of them having these familiar long bladed arms. Now, they're all looking outwards as if they're expecting something to come from whatever, like any direction really, but this guy, this guy over here, this guy over here, this guy over here, you get four opportunity attacks. Or, um, ready to action, sorry, that go off. Ooh. Yep. Rebirth. Okay. 17 to hit. No. Okay. I rolled damage, I don't know why you said no. Sorry. Yeah, no. 24 to hit. Um, hits. Okay. Eight points of damage. Yep. Uh, 27 to hit. Hits. Okay. Only five points of damage. Okay. <laughs> That's those two. Finn. Yep. 24 to hit. Here's my question. Yes. Can I cast shield? No, because... No, because they're invisible. Mm, no, we're not surprised. You're not surprised, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> No chance. Nah. I yes, go, go for it. Right. You can cast shield. Um, I'll I'll feel it before I, it, it's because I can't see it, and I'll just instantly put my hand up, and this golden shield will come up, and my AC is now twenty six. Okay. So twenty eight hit you. <laughs> I fucking damn it! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <Holy shit. laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Eleven points of damage. Okay. Can I now have initiative rolls from everyone, including you, Denarian? Yes. Oh, natural 20. Give me a second as I need to catch up. Actually, I'm going to do a peerless skill. I have. Yes. Not, not to. Like, be happy about your misfortune here, Donovan, but this is literally. I. I'm about to do something I've wanted to do for like 10 set, like no, 20 <laughs> sessions. Well, I'm so happy for you that I could be this opportunity for you. Yeah. Anyone above 20? Uh, yes. Yes. But I want you to ask a different question. So I'm many. Um, can you, 
Can you ask if I'm above 25, please? Sure. <laughs> above 25. 29. It'd be funny if you were like, no, 24. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sam. Oh, skill. yeah. Jackal trades. Next. 22. 22. Nine. Who else said yes? Me. Okay. What are you at? 22 also. Okay, and revert. And I'm on a dirty 20. And thin. Oh, Eridrian. 22, 15. 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got you, I've got you. Okay. 15 to 10. Ooh. What are the remaining rolls? <laughs> I'll let you go first, Adrian. Eight. Okay. I'm actually really happy about this. I rolled a one. <laughs> so a six. Which is good, <laughs> because that, that means I will be rolling my death rolls, hopefully after you all yeah. come save the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh... Unless one of them hits you first. Yeah, unless. This is true. This is true. Thanks. You're welcome. Just keeping it real. And six is Donarian. Okay. Um, now I do have a tad bit of bad news for you. Before we start, Donarian, I need both you and Greki to make one other death save. Oh, I'm, using no. my, I'm using my real dice for this. Yes, do it. I have so many concerns right now. So how many am I on? You're on two. So we've... I'm on two failures, right? Yeah. Keep track of your own death so, saves, Denarian! Yeah. I, I, I Denarian, was, you're on two successes. I, I have failure. you on two Grecky successes on and Greki's on two failures. Yes, I also have that. Okay, let me, let me buy this. That there be no doubt amongst any of us. Jumping in, would Finn have got to do anything? Like, I, I did my action and bonus action getting there, but would Finn have got... No, they all got their ready actions off. Okay, I'm ready to roll. Yeah? Okay. Oh, I'm ready. This is for me. Yep. That's a two. Okay. Two for two. Not for Greki. Mm-hmm. Come on, dice. You've got this. Uh, it's Mercy, up first. Do you want Trauma to go on the same turn as me or have a separate roll? Same turn. After you. Ah, well, you could go together. Yeah, we're doing mounted combat. Okay, Mrs. Greggy. It's a five. Fucking hell, we just got him back. You've arrived, Finn Reaver, in the middle of this, well, scene. Reaver, you get to react first. The rest of you do not know yet that we're in combat. So for now, Reaver, you're at the top. Um, I know we're not in combat, but I know, and Finn's yeah. after Reaver, but uh -huh. I, would I also be reacting to the fact that they're down? I mean, I presume you're reacting to that. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry. It's just you said, uh, like, when you said, like, we was the only one reacting, but, oh, no, no, I'd be reacting. He's first, he, no, no, he's the first to react. Okay. He's not I'm the not only one to oh, react. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, they're definitely, someone has used their blood to write a message in the grass. They're not looking yeah. fantastic. Um, I, I see that it's an absolute clusterfuck around us. Could... Yes. It's, it's the, like the little triangle in the middle, myself, Denerian. You are there. Uh huh. And Greki is the white one. I don't know if you can see that. There's a white base there. Denerian is the green label. Uh -huh. Finn is on the outskirts here. I'll get you some extra color tags. Is, is there any way that I could have dropped Finn next to them? Well, you were going to under Tori. Yeah. Yeah. It, You'd no idea what you were aiming for. You what's, didn't arrive and then get the opportunity to pick. To like, could you? Sorry, it's it's really small on the screen. Yes. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. 
So, the space next to Denarian. You've now got a long yellow cape. There you go. All right. The space next to Denarian is entirely occupied. Okay. On all sides. There's a reason he only got hit seven times and not eight times. Mm -hmm. And that's thankfully because of Greggy. Then, this right there. Worst sticky notes that don't stick. There. Okay. So Finn looks as though he can reach Denarian. No. He is not within five feet. There's people between you here. Oh, between us there. Yeah. Um, every every square on the right. battle map okay. around Denarian has a person. Fuck me. Um, right. Finn, can you, like, first words are, Finn, can you get them without reaching them? Not. Only if they're still breathing. I can, I can heal. Den I, can I even, t can I tell that Greggy's dead and that Daenerys is still alive? Just because of the fact that we've been in this situation several times. I feel like I'm quite good at, at telling if my comrades are alive or dead at this point, which is depressing. You can see when you look at Daenerian, there's like a bubble of blood at the mouth that keeps popping. He is bleeding out rapidly, yep. but he is breathing. Yeah. You don't see any signs of life from Greki. Greki's dead. Daenerian's still alive. I can, I can, I can, I can heal him from here, but Greki's, I need to be touching him. Um, it's like a, a consolidation of dark energy wraps around Reaver, Reaver as the flames ignite, uh, but the flames don't ignite on Reaver. They ignite at Reaver's feet and travel through the ground and with like a sort of get the fuck off of fool, um, Reaver casts Wall of Fire. Ooh. Okay. And I'm going to get all of them in it. Okay. God. Okay. Where do you want your wall of fire to be? So you can make a wall of fire up to, I think it's 60 feet long. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I just want uh, basically a, a perimeter around uh, Greki and Daenerys. Facing outwards. Yeah. yeah. So the way I'm going to go is... Um, from Pink Squiggle Man? Yes. Mm -hmm. Around and in. Yeah. 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 Um, basically through every single one of them, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. um, but when you get around to Finn. Yeah. We want to go diagonal down the way. That this looks, way? Yep. So yeah. Finn's inside. Yeah. Rather than, and then around uh -huh. Finn. Yeah. Back in in the diagonal and then round. So I'm on the outside taking damage from it. Okay, um, considering the amount of minis that are currently there, I'm not going to draw that to... That's fine. ...and move them all. But I'm going to thread the needle and burn them all. Okay, um, nice. is that a dexterity saving throw? Uh, I can't remember, it's been that long since I've used I attack so. spells. It is dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um... Can you help me keep track for a moment? Um, Please. Uh, I need you to count. For okay. Okay, first one? Yep. Is a two, so that's a fail. Okay, cool. Second one. It's a seven, no. I can't do math. It's a 15. Fail. Okay, two fail. Natural 20. That one passes. Okay, so that is... One pass. Two have failed, one has passed. Okay. And a 12. Fail. Okay. So out of this group, only one passed. 21. Pass. 12. Fail. Okay. 14. Fail. Okay, so there's another one pass. 
Ten. Yep. Fail. Oh, that definitely fails. And a natural one. Okay. So, so to make up for my earlier good rolls. So only. Only. Only three saved. Okay. I thought only two. Nice. Only two saved. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Do it. Each of them are taking 68. Okay. They are entering the wall yes. for the first time, absolutely. Yeah, and if their turn ends in it, they also take this in this damage. But yeah. Mm. Okay. There's a lot of rolling happening. that fail? 40 points of fire damage. Oh, okay. For the ones that fail. 20 for the ones that pass. Yep. Um, that's like 40 times 8 plus 20 times 2. I'm going to do that. Yes. Probably. Okay. Okay. And for the creatures inside the wall, they take no damage. The, yes, on the, the other of side. The um, 360 points I of fire I need damage. to make a save for my own one. Mm -hmm. Pass, so I take 20 points. Okay. But... Finn, you are suddenly enveloped in this wall of fire. Doesn't burn you. And it's okay. at the base of it. It's black fire it's, as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's black fire. So, you know, source, very obvious. Mm. Yeah. You can take your turn. Me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, so sorry. I... That, was that your turn? Sorry, I just presumed that by dealing forty damage to ten people, you were done. But no, rude of me. No, very rude of me. Sorry, Finn. We're not okay That's with okay. this. That's okay. Um, <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. You can't do the the main spell and a bonus action spell. No. Uh, cantrip. Sorry. You can do spell and a cantrip. Can. Yeah. Okay. As long as the cantrip is a bonus action. Yes. You yes. Can... Sorry. If your cantrip is a bonus action. Yes. Right. Okay. You're a grave player, aren't you? I am. Yeah. Which means okay. at range I can spare the dying. Sweet. Oh. Which means no death saving throws for the near end. All right. Okay. As um, the 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 black fire sort of like. Like little flames and cinders like drop down and land on Daenerys, and there's a pulse of spare the dying. As I can do it 30 feet away from a creature. Okay, Daenerys, you are stable. No death saves for you. Planted. Anything else you wish to do, Reaver? Um, yes, the ones around me have already used the reactions, so I am going to move away from them. Okay, where would you like to move to? Um, I would like to take my full movement. Mm -hmm. um, just sort of going there. Where am I? I'm a yellow. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I just want to go 30 feet south. South, this way. Um, yes. Okay, 20, 30. Back towards the house. The house is towards your west. Trying to get these sticky notes to stay, but they're really not for sticky. Okay. Ooh, sounds like Wonder Woman's music. Are you done? Um, that's me. Finn, it's now your turn. Okay. Realizing I can't get to Greki because they're well one. 
there were the invisible people that I couldn't see, but now there's just fire. Um, so there, there's, a you are, there's a specific you, Greki, and Denirian are surrounded yes. in a little area of oh, non-fire. Yeah. You are in um, the wall of fire with Greki and um, Denirian in I the, the safe. Grab Greki. Can I touch Greki from here? Or, like, move five feet and do it? No, you can't see the person that's in front of you, because to you they're invisible. Oh, but Greki's shit. there, and there is someone there's, here. There's also fire as in well front as of there. you. Okay, so there's so, fire. You can get across the diagonal, I think. Can there's I? Per- no, there's a person there. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm walled off. Like, in terms of I can't get to Greki, unfortunately. Come out of the way with your incredible strength. Yes. My notes to incredible strength. In that case... It's fucking suck. But... Daenerys alive. Greki will be alive later. I will channel divinity... Channel divinity. Um, and... Hands glow and I say... I reach out as a spectral hand will smack down onto... Um, Daenerys' chest. You get 50 hit points. Oh! Okay. Well, healers doing healer stuff. I love you, Finn. Glowing hand right. reaches out towards the Nerian. <laughs> Comes down with some force, turns into a gentle touch. It's a, it's a, it's a similar, HP. Uh, like, clear! Oof! And you are brought back up. The Nerian, you... <gasps> You taste blood in your mouth. You start coughing just to get rid of like the amount of liquid that's in your mouth. Um, as Daenerian wakes up, uh, I'm going to go, go Greki to me. Um, and I will then bonus action, healing word, fourth level. Okay. Ooh. Because I yeah I can because that's my channel divinity not yep, spell. Yep yep yep. Um, aha! Almost heal blocked myself. Um, and that is twenty one points of healing. Oh. He's uh, to Daenerian. Mhm mhm. Is that seventy one points of healing done without casting <laughs> heal one time? Yep. With, yeah, casting one. Sp- that's me cast one spell so far. Mhm oh. mhm. Huh. I can't see it, any of them, can I? No. That's, oh, that's annoying. Yep. But it unfortunately cannot be helped. As I then action surge. Okay. And I pass spirit guardians. At okay. sixth level. <laughs> Holy god. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a lot of spirit guardians. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> the sheer amount of AoE. Um, yeah. Remind me that when it comes to their turn, to roll all of the wisdom saves. Okay. The hat. The hand will retreat back into fit uh, into Finn's body and then just burst out in this swarming maelstrom of of raven claws and feathers, uh, capturing everyone within a fifteen foot radius. Welcome to Thule, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> This one is 20 feet, so if I move it one over, you're, I think you've got everyone except for two of them. I can't get there anyways, because there, because there's fire, so yeah. I'm, I'm happy with what, I'm happy with my turn. Cool. I think that was a good turn, um, but that'll be me. Okay. Action, action, action. yes. Sam, Nax. Back First in the thing, home. yeah. Weaver teleports, and like Sam immediately. The first thing she did, sorry, Serial uh, did, was kind of sigh, roll her eyes, but hurry over to Trauma, mm-hmm. uh, who, if Serial is in the form of Serial, uh, takes the form of like a flaming, um, a flaming, like a nightmare, but like a flaming horse. I was prepared. Oh, I love you sometimes. Brilliant. Um, gets on the back and uh, racks her memories. I think Nax and um, Nax can teleport. Eridrian absolutely can teleport because he did that in the maze. Nax can miss his step. I think so. Um, in that case, it's just her that's got to get places in a hurry. 
So mm-hmm. she like um, spurs uh, Trauma on and just says, go, go, go. And uh, Trauma dashes, kicking off into the air, flies 180 feet. Okay. Uh, for reference, there is a 20 foot pitch black bonfire happening in this forest. Uh, Artemis. That is cool. And as she goes, uh, Serial starts um, casting a spell. Uh, gets ready to cast. A, I don't know how close are we going to get in 180 feet. With 180 feet, you're going to get there. Amazing. She. So uh, as you approach, you see the two standing figures of Reaver and Finn, and just this massive <laughs> area of chaos of black fire. Um, there's like shit flitting around through the air that as you get closer you recognize as Finn's mm. spirit guardians. Cool. As they go, uh, she uh, like raises trauma up to do a slight dive down into the middle mm-hmm. of this whirlpool of flames and ravens uh, feathers and she casts a spell tipping her mind back uh, to a life she used to live. She casts What's the spell called? Tensor's Transformation on herself. Okay. And because Trauma is a greater steed, she casts it into Trauma as well. Okay. <laughs> what does that entail for Trauma? So both of them take on uh, a different physical appearance, um, mm-hmm. but it is mm-hmm. just an appearance. Uh, uh, Suriel turns into a form that um, is very similar to the form that we've first saw Sam when she was a human woman just after she died. That's the form that she takes because that is the form of Lady Jaina Kaldia, who is an, an accomplished um, horseback warrior and Trauma takes the form of this powerful war horse. Okay. Um, much like uh, light similar to uh, Finn's spiritual weapon and shrouds her weapon, her rapier and it turns into a lance. And flickering um, force-based armor forms around both tr- herself and trauma uh, as she gains extra hit points. Okay. What ho? Um, are you flying? And if yes, how high are you? Uh, we're going to fly up uh, until we're over the middle. And if we've mm-hmm. still got the movement to do that, we dive down into the middle of them. I don't have an attack, but trauma does. Okay. Um, oh, no, I don't, because I dashed in. But I'm, I'm there and yes. taking space. Okay, I can't put you on them because I don't think the minis are going to survive that, so I'm going to put you next to them. Yeah, know that I am hovering over the battlefield. Yes. Um, A spectral champion or a champion wreathed in spectral light. Okay, um, you're there, the blue tag on the map. Okay, Nax. You got all. You've just spent all this time learning the spell. People are rushing out now. (laughs) <laughs> uh, I take it I didn't get very far with casting the spells I was trying to cast while everyone just in got the t- on with life. In the time that it took them to leave, you could probably have cast one spell. Cool. Well, I linked up with them. I cast my telepathic link because that was the first goal. Okay. So, what the fuck? <laughs> So you won't be able to get Daenerys and Greki in that, obviously. Yeah, yeah. But considering that they were all talking and having a moment of like, where did they go? I'll say that you can get Reaver and Finn in it just before they left. Um, Do you want to include Reaver's sister Luna in it or not? She was in the house with Uh, you. How many did I get again? Oh yeah, if I've not got um, Venerian uh, and Greki, then I can easily include her, sure. Okay. They missed out. Someone else got upgraded. <laughs> okay. So, all of you hear what the fuck in your head. Um, Invisible Assassins, they've got Denerian. Finn, Greki's report. down. Darian's back up. Shit's kicked off. Fire. And spirit guardians. And a bit barred stuff. Reaver just gives a count. Reaver just gives a count of how many there are. There's ten. 
what do I have to locate where this is all happening? So about 120 feet away from the home, there's massive black fire. Um, there's spectral raven claws and feathers going through the sky. Trauma has descended. And a bird. And a small raven flies above it. I'd say <laughs> normally, see, just Daenerian, he would have kind of disappeared in the, the low foliage. But considering the amount of shit that's happening there, you can easily guess where they are. Okay. I am going to dimension door to 200 foot directly above where this is all going down. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. I do Dang not it. have a flying stand on me. You're 200 feet high. We do have a ceiling that yeah. we could take you to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and as soon as it's here, there, I'm going to cast Featherfall. Okay. So that's a reaction used? Yeah. So okay. I think that's me for this turn, but I'm slowly falling over the battle from a very high height. I'm going to put you That's on the, awesome. the the compass directions at the top there, but I've got you marked <laughs> down as at 200 feet. Yeah. Okay. Love it. This is actually from Nax's view in the battlefield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bird's eye, Nax eye. <laughs> okay. Um, next on the initiative order, Luna. Okay is going to run out of the home, yes. If we have the bond up and Reaver can see them, can we like, like, like <laughs> almost like a night vision goggle delay kind of situation? Mm. We might still have disadvantage because we can't see, but I think yes. we might be able to communicate to us which squares where they are. If, if, yeah. the, if there but, was a, if there was a lag, maybe you would be able to react to them if you held an action? Like, because I can imagine, no, like, because I couldn't really give you like a real life streaming so, No, also because well you can't, you need to focus on casting your own spells and yes, such. I'm you also, can't. I'm also concentrating on a giant wall of flame. Oh, yes. so. I'll, I'll just me in terms of like, he's there in that square there and then just, I'll know where they are. I'll still attack with probably with like disadvantage and stuff, but I'll they're there. I what would say if you dedicate a bonus action to a driver, they can get the positions. You would still roll at disadvantage because you can't see what you where exactly you need to be hitting. But if you were to dedicate a bonus action over the telepathic link, then you would know their general location. So Kind of RP to counter that is that the flames on Reaver are not moving smokily, they are burning. Mm. Um, and you got a number count, like a head count, and just seething rage and anger because Reavers worked so hard to get Luna to a safe place. You can feel the flames. There's no, there's no nice, smooth, smoky fire. It's like old school burning anger reaver. It's a little bit like when you just met reaver and you weren't necessarily certain how trustworthy the, he was. I mean, he was reliable, but not necessarily in a good way. It's, it's borderline the one that Sam saw in the center of the, the maelstrom of flame at the start. Absolutely it's sort terrifying. of like skull-like fiery face appearance. I remember. Yep. Either way, it is still Luna's turn. She is going to run 30 feet out of the home. Um, not very far. But she is going to cast at 120 feet range. Chill touch. As she sends Ooh. her hand forward and those of you that are still back at the home, you'd probably hear her say something that Reaver would very much disapprove of. Um, as she sends her hand forward and you see a spectral hand kind of leave her hand, like a glove leaving, and shoot towards the distance. Now, chill touch means that if she hits with it, the mm. hand clings to the target, which would 
also revealed a location of one of them. Uh, if she hits, though, she doesn't roll particularly well. That's only an 11, so unfortunately the hand shoots wild but doesn't grab onto anything. Um, at which point you will hear her curse some more. And she's going to burn some sorcery points to cut, to mm. quicken spell do it again. For an even a lower roll. I've oh, burnt all my good rolls on Daenerian, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's her turn. It is now the first group of these assassins. With some saving throws for them. Yes. Um, I haven't had a go yet. You're at initiative eight, right? Yeah. Yes. I've got them at 16 and 12. It oh, was buddy. their, they held their reactions to attack. Oh, right. I'm sorry. I thought we were bottom of the round and starting again. No, sorry. I've not forgotten you, I promise. Great. Okay. Wisdom saving throws. Natural one. And a... Oh, yes. Prepare to 19. take fucking... That, that just passes. Okay. Um... Da, da, da. Uh, not natural 20. And an 18. So that's two fails? Eight, yeah, 18 is my DC. So. Okay, so one fail. Yeah. Well, oh. one fail and three passes. One fail, three passes. So, yeah. That's only 21 radiant damage. Okay. Um, but they, the one that failed, mm -hmm. um, their speed is halved. Yep. Um, and. Yeah, that's. A, I think that's it, unfortunately. They're just anyone who's within it when they start the turn is just in the blender. Still pretty and, good. Oh, I. Uh, they also start yeah, their th turn in a wall of fire. No. No? They have to end their turn in a end wall of fire. End their turn. For, they take the damage originally, and then if and they then end their the turn, end turn. With it, like basically they burned on entering in their life. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, enough. Reaper and Finn, set, same, set, two sides of the same coin. Start of the turn, end of the turn. Yeah. 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 So Re Reaver's just sort of like standing, giving it the like, come at me type of. Aye. Okay, I'm moving them first, then I'll be rolling attack. Um, but like clerics. This one will still be in the wall of fire there. They're staying in the wall of fire. Yeah, 15. He can't get to you, but he's gonna make his way there. Okay, I've got three attacks incoming for you, Finn. <laughs> okay. Are they attacking him through the wall of fire? Yes, and some of them will be taking that damage at the end of their turn. Sick. Yeah, that yeah. first one is a 21. Shield. Okay. Mm. They are rolling with advantage since More they are shield. invisible. <laughs> Second attack, 23. Nope. Okay. 26. Just hits. Cool. That is 11 points of damage. Okay. 22 misses. Yep. That's two twos that also misses. A, another 26. Yep. Okay. And a 25. That doesn't hit. Okay, so the 26 only oh, only hits you for five points of damage. Uh-huh. And I that- I concentration checks, and I'm hit past both. Fantastic. That is their turn. Um, they are staying there. I think this one is just out of the wall of flame, but so, there's three of them that enter turn into fire. If they're just out of the wall of flame, it doesn't matter. Anything within 10 feet ten of feet. the sore side of the fire takes the damage. Go for it. Make their saves. <laughs> Do they have to make deck saves? I thought they just took the damage. Um, I think they have to make deck saves, right? Because it, it feels very OP for them not to make deck saves if okay. they just take I mean, if you want, let me just take it. That's fine. No, 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 no. 
because fuck these guys in particular. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When the wall appears, each creature within its area must make a deck save on the side of the wall. Selected by you, when you cast a spell, deals 5d8 fire damage on each of the... When each creature ends its turn within 10 feet, that site. A creature takes the same damage when it enters the wall for the first time on a turn, or ends its turn there. The other side of the wall deals no damage. Or ends its turn there. So it just takes 5d8 fire damage. I'm pretty sure damage. it just... Yeah, because it gets a chance to dodge out of oh, the way. Oh, it gets a chance to leave. Yeah, but Holy because it doesn't shit. leave, they just take the damage. Well, fuck these guys in particular. Consider them fucked. They all take 25 points of fire damage. Okay, okay, okay. Math. Is. Okay. Um, in your eyes, Reaver, mm -hmm. those four are looking quite rough. Before Eridrian's turn, it's the second group's go. Okay. Uh, do they also make wisdom yep, saves? They do. Excellent. I'm losing my own minis for so many on the fucking battlefield. <laughs> Ooh, it's bearable. Um, that is two definite failures, and that guy's just out of it, but he's going to enter it, so I'll roll for him now as well. All three of them fail. Okay, so they'll take 29 points of radiant damage. Nice. Ooh. I got access to sick level spells, slots, but not spells. <laughs> okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, their speed is half. They can't move that far. <laughs> Fucking them up. You see them oh. kind of slowly being battered by fours walking towards you, Reaver. Finn, you just see, you know, the claws and the feather smack into something you cannot see. Okay. And 5, 10, 15. That one is still within the wall's range. This I guy... I think we both are if it's around Finn. This one is out of the range, but these two are still in it. Okay. So can I have more damage rolls from you? Yep. Unfortunately, they do not have ranged attacks. Their movement is half, so they are pretty much worthless at that point in time. Yeah. Twenty-eight points off. How much? Damage. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Actually, mm, I'm lying. Six. They do take the damage. They're not as stupid as I'm making them out to be. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um. This one will move closer. But coming for me? No, you're in the air. They see that Denarian yeah. is up again. Mm -hmm. Denarian, you are prone on the ground. I am. But I'm awake. Oh my god. I'm sorry, oh, my dice hate you. I just rolled oh, no. double natural 20s on a roll with advantage. Now, thankfully, oh. only one of those counts. But... Jesus, what? <laughs> Jesus Christ, it's not. It's not the dice, it's you, Denarian. It is me. <laughs> what have I done? I just wanted to find a nice pretty stone to give to Gina. Yeah, that's, that's, that's nice, pretty 16, 16 points of damage on the first hit. Um, the next one's a 29 to hit. So that's another 9 points of damage. Then yeah, before. the second guy attacks you for a 28 to hit. Yeah, that hits. For I have my reaction. You have my, your uh, reaction, yes. Yeah, I still hit so, so I don't okay. need reaction. For nine points of damage. Whoa, oh, oh, I'm throwing my dice nearly on the floor. Um, this guy tries to hit you for a 20 to hit. A 20 does not hit if okay. I can use my reaction. You can. Does not hit. 
So even from lying on the ground, you kind of draw your sword and, you know, kind of just hold off this invisible blade coming Thanks. from God knows where. 24 to hit. That hits. That's 15 points of damage. And the last one is a 28 to hit. The hits. Jesus. Is 11 points of damage. <sighs> that is their turn. So I am looking buff again. <laughs> they yes. all take that damage then, because none of them moved. Yes. Good news. How much was it? 28. 28. Okay. Your secondary healers got this, don't worry. Um, Eridrian. It is your yeah. turn. Well, I'll just have a bit of a stretch and, you know, oh, I'm sure there's nothing to be fussy about. Well, best guess I better get over there. Um, I'd like to use my action to Dimension Door okay. into the fray. So speak. <laughs> Dimension door, you have this moment, you know, where in your case, you create a um, a, a fey like door similar to the, the ones that you find in the silly cord. You step through it and it's just this absolute clusterfuck. <laughs> you don't see any enemies, just a heads up. They are all invisible. I see fire and spirit guardians and blood. Flying, jousting knights and blood. Nax appears to be slowly falling. <laughs> oh, yeah, Nax is actually. And a dark angel descending from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the dark angel's on the ground, burning everything. While I'm taking in the sights, I'm going to use my bonus action to activate my um, shivering blade. Um to get myself a little bit of extra defense, seeing as I can't really attack anything at the moment. Mm -hmm. That's the end of my turn. Okay, noted. Um, where in the fray do you wish to appear? Well, <laughs> like, so I had my mouse hovered over the square and then obviously you can't see that. Um, like, Yes, there. Exactly there. There? One back. Uh, down a bit, back a bit. Yeah, you, you probably want to be one square back from there. There. Yeah, yeah. Yes, that one. Yeah? Yeah. Perfect. And, and that square, you're not burning. Yeah, you like step out of the door and immediately take one step back. <laughs> yeah. Hot, 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 hot. Exactly. Okay, you have arrived. Last group of these guys. Wow, three initiative counts. Yeah. And uh, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. them wisdom saves. Yeah, them wisdom saves. Wisdom savings. Okay. First of all, the wisdom saving throws. That is terribly nice. low. I'm not even going to bother doing the math. And a 17, which I believe fails. Fails. All of them fail. Roll damage. 28 radiant damage. Nice, <laughs> nice. And their speed is halved. Well, they're not going to move. Um, they have been given a task and they are fulfilling said task. Um, Delirian. Oh no. Oh, oh you got to be kidding me. It is my initiative roll. Maybe this is my turn. Maybe no. you're saying my name because it's my turn. <laughs> oh. No. No. It's okay, you can channel divinity again, right, Finn? Does an 18 yeah. hit, Denarian? An 18 does not hit. As you're like slowly coming to, you feel the air of something rush past your face, you dodge out of the way, only to be immediately stabbed right in the chest, as I believe a 28 is going to break her armor class. <laughs> Scrub. Six feel which angle Seven is points of damage. Seven. Yep. 24. That is, that is, that is enough not to, 24 hits. Okay. Another 13 points of damage. Puts me down again. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, it's the Elder Brain all over again. Reaper. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the Elder Brain though. 
This is bad. It's true. That's okay. Wait. This, quick, this quick, a... quick question. Does uh, anything that's happening right now trigger any uh, bad memories? No. Or is this like a skip that? Reaver. Me. You mm -hmm. can see what's happening. Mm -hmm. And you can see with just emotionless. There's no feeling whatsoever. This creature goes for another hit as Denarian's down. Yes. So I believe if it hits, that's an auto crit, Denarian. It's a 29 break your AC. It does. Okay. Cutting words. Okay. Why not? I can't see it. Can't see it. No, you can't. You can mark off double failure, right? Yep. Now your saves have reset, considering you went back up again. Okay. But he does get to make a second attack. Uh, oh, all right, kill me. If it hits. I'm gonna roll them where I can at least have one witness to the dice rolls. Is it 24 break your armor class? It does. Oh, damn it. You need to be like me. Finn, you see Daenerian open his eyes, gasp for breath, cough, and then you just see the uh, and the blood starts spreading from his chest as he falls back down. Now, unfortunately, it is now Daenerian's can I, turn. Can I, as I was dying, can I say one word? Sure. Save Greki. No. Then I die. Okay. <sighs> Reaver, do you want to roll for fire damage to these guys? Yes. I got this. 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 Going to the stack of magic. Were any of those attacks ranged, by the way? No. Right, just double checking. 33. 33? Yep. Okay. I am so occupied with Venerian dying, I forget that one of them was going to attack Finn, so he will die after he's attacked Finn. <laughs> Finn. Yep. So 25, break your armor class. You still have shields off, I believe. Does it. I'll s I smack the shield into him. Even though I don't know okay. where it's coming. 26? That just hits. Okay. 11 points of damage. Okay. As three of them are removed from the field. Um, visible to you, Reaper, there's no space between Finn and Daenerian and Greki. Okay. Top of the round, Sam. Now. Of the ones that were murdering, um, murdering Daenerian, I can't see them. No. But is there any like obvious way direction he was attacked from, like a specific uh, angle? It seems like he was attacked from all angles. Okay, so I, if I attack one of the squares around him, I probably won't miss then. Cool. Um, let's let's randomly attack a square around Daenerian. Um. Obviously, I can't randomly, randomly do this, but let's do one that is opposite from where Reaver is. Okay. Do you want an attack roll, or does it just miss? I don't know. Roll me a d8. Uh, say again, sorry? I give you a roll d8. Roll me a d8, yes. Coming right up. That is a two. Okay. You can roll with disadvantage. Amazing. Uh, I make the concentration checks. Uh, I have advantage with my attacks whilst I'm in this state, so that balances out to yes. a 16. Okay. A 16 does hit, so you can roll Amazing. damage. So, initially, the first thing that happens is that five uh, magical piercing damage hits it, but immediately afterwards. 2d12 of force damage follows it as the magical element of my the, sh the, the 
spiritual weapon wraparound almost um, strikes it for 17 force damage. Oh. Okay. And whilst As I'm in this state... Cleave oh, yeah. into something and yep, you can't strike. see it, but you feel some form of resistance. So you just Perfect. push it forwards, empowered by the magic and the memories that you have of horseback fighting. Yeah. Go for it. It looks, it looks like an incredibly clean and precise strike to anyone watching. Like it looks almost it. Um, knightly a little bit, mm. like what you would see in uh, like the, your kind of classic medieval knighting. Yes, incredibly weak. Cool. Um, now, whilst, whilst I'm in this state, I also get two attacks. Go for your second one. So I will go for that second one. Uh, but that is a mere 10 to hit. No worries. Um, um, that does not hit. I do need you to make a dexterity saving throw for entering the range of the wall fire. Cool, cool, cool. That is a 26, 19 plus 7. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, yeah, enough that's, to... Yeah, that's a save. Yeah. Um, you do take half damage, however. That's fine. Whoa. Might not be fine. Uh, half damage is 21. Now, here's okay. a question for you. Yes. If I don't take damage damage and only take temporary hit points, do I need to roll constitution... Yes. Saving first? Yes. I do. Trauma yes. would also. Yes. Um, once you've rolled your constitution saving throw, remember to roll the same check for trauma. I was going to say, if trauma and I are working at the same time, can trauma make its attacks as well? Absolutely. Cool. Then uh, I have trauma stats up here. First. Trauma's mm -hmm. first. Trauma Fire does not get the advantage first. bonus I do. Uh, so it's disadvantage for trauma? Um, yes, it is disadvantage for trauma. Cool, so that is a 11 plus 6, 17 to hit. Hits. So 2d6 plus 2d12 force damage. So that is uh, 5 plus uh, 9. Um, I don't know if does trauma's hooves count as bludgeoning, magical bludgeoning. I'm going to assume no. Um, but 18 additional force damage on the top of that. Okay. And Trauma also gets two attacks, though no, doesn't get the advantage bonus. Uh, so that is 12 plus 6 for 18 to hit. So second attack, um, yep. Trauma just seems to be hitting air. Cool. At that point, we make our constitution saving throws. Um, I've done mine. Trauma... Done, dexterity, uh, sorry, dexterity saving throws dexterity. first. Dexterity. Yes. So you've mm -hmm. done yours. Traumas. Trauma. Trauma. Why am I wrong? It's with disadvantage. No. Trauma is. Oh, that's not a good number. Nine. Okay. Trauma takes full damage of what you rolled. What Which was the number? Was Forty-two. Forty-two. Good God. So you see, like the fire chewing at the like ghostly barding armor on Trauma, and it just like is burned almost entirely away, and uh, Jaina's um, temporary. Armor looks a bit injured as well. How but was your concentration check? She fails her constitution saving uh, throw, um, even with the advantage that the spell gives her. Oh, wait, no, it's not advantage, it's proficiency. Um, what was that roll? Where's my history? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Shit, I've lost it. Game log, there it is. Sam, con save. Yeah, no, even with proficiency, that is yeah. seven. Okay, so, so spell fizzles. you drop out of the form of Jaina and the trauma is like increased like muscular form, a kind of Frisian horse, you know, the very broad, mm. strong looking horse reverts to still majestic looking, but maybe yeah. less bulky looking trauma. More, more fantasy, less power. Yes. Cool. Okay. Immediately after the spell ends, I must make a DC con 15 saving throw or suffer one level of exhaustion. Do you want to move? Uh, I, I come back out of the fire. Okay, so you come back out of the fire. I'm leaving your mini, but I'll, yep, yep. I'll, I'll remember that and you're higher. I have one level of exhaustion. Okay. So mechanics wise, if you stay in the fire and then on your next turn move out of the fire, you won't take the damage as long as you don't end your next turn. 
end the fire. I think with the, the loss of the battle form, I'm going to fall back anyway. Okay. Okay. Nax, first. Uh, so I think Nax has realised that he can't actually see any of the enemies on the ground, and uh, he's now realised he's gone a little bit higher than he intend or than he wished he had. He thought he, you know, would be able to see the enemies, but he's got a better idea for the enemies he can't see. So I'm going to cast sickening um, radiance and create a sphere of lovely bright green light. But the problem is, it's going to be 20 meters above the ground that's centered on. <laughs> so. Because of the size of the sphere, though, I think that's just over 20 meters radius on the ground. Jesus. You know, because it looks really funny in my head, sure, it will just touch the ground. It's a fantastic image to just have this floating ball of green color come down from the sky, like taking a second to like boing land. Um, which I'm remembering for last time would make anyone invisible visible because they're illuminated by this green light. Oh, yeah, they fail their con. I think it's con. Yeah, con save DC 18. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I'm gonna sculpt it. Right, I'd near the park. So so. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one, Colin. Anyone that I can see is all good, you know. <laughs> I can see you. Here. 16. I presume that doesn't make it on the save. Okay. Yeah, DC 18. Super low. Another super low. That's a 16 that also fails. Another 16. Wow. A five, and that is the only ones left standing. They all fail their con save. Hey. Cool. So they're all lovely, bright, glowy green things now, and they also take some radiant damage as well. Go to for it. the tune of uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 radiant. Ooh, 19, okay. Ooh. That, uh -huh. Oh, and they take a level of exhaustion too. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, okay. it's, it, didn't you hear? It's all the rage right now. Max, as you drop your glowing ball of light slightly too high, and then, you know, it sinks a little bit down, you see six forms being illuminated. Um, Four of which then immediately vanish. That was a heavy hitter. Dead? Yeah. Nice. Dead. Is there anything else you would like to do with your turn? No, just waiting until I get to the ground. <laughs> okay. Reaver. Um, where, which enemies are remaining? So, the ones that are remaining is this guy over here who's uh -huh. next to Finn, and this guy over here who's making his way towards Finn. Okay, I am just going to casually walk towards them, like flames torrential pouring yep. off. Um, I'm going to walk through my own wall of fire. Of course. Um, and make a save. I pass. Now also make a concentration check to see if you drop the wall from taking damage from your own wall. I do not. Okay. Um, I take a further 16 points of damage. 16? 16. Okay. Um, and the fire from the wall sticks to me. Mm -hmm. And it like carries through as... Um, uh, and you see some of the flames start to solidify and turn into almost like metallic looking um, armory barbs as I cast Armor of Agathis on myself. Okay. Yeah. And I walk just straight up so I'm in between the two of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, to one of them looking at kind of like straight into the eyes and at the area where the collars are normally on them. Mm -hmm. Still are. Uh, and just like uh, in this sort of like gargled over the top of all the fire in the current, just like a, I will 
fucking end you. Okay. Um, and I end my turn just standing in front of them. Okay. Oh, power move. Now, as you've experienced before, they don't react. They don't really show any I'm not emotion looking for whatsoever. their reaction. I figured as much. Mm. Um, you've yes, got true sight up. I do, yes. Speaking of... Oh, if the shadow's there. Now, this is um, not an enemy that you can target. Just a heads up. But for frame of reference... There you go. Oh, in which case, if it's there... Uh-huh. Uh, I, rather than, like... Uh, rather than attacking them, rather than standing in front of them, I'll just push through between them. You can stand right in the middle of the three of them. So. And, um... Pretty there. I'll, I'll walk forward maybe one space so one gets an opportunity to attack on me. Okay. That will happen. It will take its reaction, doesn't get advantage. 23 to hit. Hits. I think that makes it more metal in my mind. 13 points of damage. Sweet. It takes 25 points of damage from hitting me. <laughs> no you. So it does, as what it's supposed to be doing, it swings at you with one of these like bladed arms, goes right for you, and as you take the damage, it just <laughs> puffs out of existence, explodes in a cloud of smoke. That one. Okay. Um. And I'll make eye contact with the entity. Okay. And be like, you made this way more difficult for yourself. I was fine being a tag along. But now you're done. So since this is a, a shadowed silhouette, there's, again, you can't read anything from it. Yep. Don't know whether the message been heard or not. Finn. And if you can't hear me, it's just that horrific visage of Reaver Reaper and Flame staring down. You can see them. Doing. You can see these figures being lit up by green light. You know that there's one right over there. You know you have a clear path to both the Nerian and Greki. Yeah, I look at the figures, look at Reaver, give Reaver a nod, and I run, and my hand starts to glow as I go, scoop up some diamonds in my hand, and Bam! Straight into Daenerys' chest as I cast from Vivify. Okay. Yep, yeah, we're making the same face. Mm -hmm. One. What was that, Daenerys? Said wrong one. Daenerys. Yep. It's not the first time that you've gone down over this long course of traveling. And just ever, ever so briefly, you know the feeling of drifting, like you're floating in a pool of water, and the sensation of almost as if you're looking at yourself and you're watching your hand float away. And it's, in your eyes, probably almost a little funny. It's not a bad feeling at all. It's, it's quite... Um, peaceful, relaxed, your mind is clear of anything. All of that happens in like a fraction of a second. It's like when you're asleep, you have a dream, you think that hours have passed, but actually it's been only two seconds or so, when suddenly you wake up again to just pain in your chest, pain in all of your limbs, your mouth is full of blood, everything hurts. But... Grab, oh, sorry. I go grab Daenerys' collar and I go, Greki's next. Rise. And as I pull him, I uh, healing word fourth level. I can't revivify the spell. Fuck. I've and got I, him. Get onto, the, get onto the Greki. In that case, uh, bonus action. I'll use... I'll use, yes, I, I have a cantrip that's a, no, I don't, of course I don't. I'll second wind, just heal myself. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Um, 
Luna still running to catch up. She's still mass. She's 90 feet away. She's running. She's coming within to a 60 feet range. And you all focused on what's happening in front of you from the like far distance. You just hear a kind of like ah! as something's being thrown and you see this ray of blue cold energy streak across the battlefield. She's clearly very new at this fighting though. As <laughs> yeah. Um Sam, you duck out of the way as it almost hits you instead. Ugh. She rolled a natural one. Um, Finn, I will move you next to these guys. That has been her turn. Now, the one remaining dude. At the start of his turn, he's going to take spirit guardian damage. Yes. He is. This is the way. Is the he way. doesn't make his save. Oh, in that case, he's going to take a full... How many dice do you roll? I roll 68. He takes 34 radiant damage. He turns around and he, like just gets shredded apart. Those of you who can see his invisible form, like it's just as if this mist gets torn into pieces as he disappears off of the battlefield. We are out of initiative. Raised by his elven mother as a single child, Daenerion's mom taught little of his human father. Apparently he was a great man. Growing up in a secluded village, there was no religion or magic, there were barely visitors. Here, there was only the circle of nature. Daenerion made himself useful to his clan as hunter, but he never stopped being distracted by life outside the forest lands, and his curiosity of humans often got him in trouble. Even more so when he learned that somewhere people could apparently do magic. Finally, and not unexpectedly, the day came that he set out, against the wishes of his peers, and ventured beyond the forest. Daenerion found that there were many things he wasn't ready for. Currency, for one, was an entirely foreign concept to him. He also learned that people can be cruel and harm for fun when he freed and stole a wolf pup from a trader's cage. Yet none of this deterred Daenerion from wanting to enjoy the crazy chaos of the wider world. When he heard rumours that magic could be taught in a faraway capital of a different continent, Daenerion and Greki boarded a ship. They would not return to Orion for a long time. The stars were especially beautiful tonight, Lady Jane Akeldia thought to herself. The pride she had once felt at her accomplishments turned into a resentful nostalgia. She sighed heavily. It had been too long since she had fed, and looked up at Simon. Her mind was already processing her next steps as she led him to the large bed. She would sate her hunger, and in the clamour of her concert's unexpected passing, would declare herself in mourning and leave her estates in the care of the heirs to the dynasty she had created. She would take on the persona of Samantha, a young woman disguised as Samuel Ransward, a travelling bard. A mask over a mask over a mask over a mask. Common practice for the 900-year-old shape changer. All that she had learned was that being long livid just meant watching the people you cared for die. Nothing had given her the satisfaction she had sought. Not family, not power, not the gods, not even selfish fulfillment of her every passing desire. And so, after centuries, she finally gave in to Wanderlust and left Orion in search for the thrill of adventure. Even when Fenric Jameson was just a small lad, he had an affinity for helping those who needed it. It started with a small bird with a broken wing that miraculously flew again, and from there evolved into apprenticing at the local temple, where he learned the arts of medicine until his 18th name day, after which he travelled south to learn healing on the road. A plan put to an abrupt end when bandits attacked him and robbed him of all but his name and knowledge. Going from doctor to beggar, Faith was quick to introduce new opportunity to Finn, in the form of a dying dwarven man. And by saving the life of first mate Usenthor, Finn was granted the position of ship's doctor aboard the Bleeding Crow. Here, he lived an adventurous life of scavenging, exploring and smuggling, although never killing. But more importantly, 
he lived a life as a trusted friend of Captain Josephine, the devil underwater, equally feared and respected. He would never have chosen to leave that ship. That choice was made for him by Captain Soren, whose dark history with Josephine Finn never entirely uncovered. The doctor was thrown overboard with no knowledge of what happened to his new family or Josephine, the captain he was slowly falling in love with. Instead, he woke up on a small beach, close, torn and stiff with dried salt. With gritted teeth, he set out to find the nearest city and means for revenge. Waking up in a strange place, sore and nauseous, Nax couldn't quite remember where he came from, or how he ended up in this endless field of long grass. All he remembered was that someone or something had seriously pissed him off. It took him some time to find his way across this strange landscape, and when he finally found a city, he was starving and angrier than he had ever felt. It didn't take him long to find the nearest tavern, where he proudly demanded the guests make space for him and serve him his food. I said, leave, lest you be damned. <laughs> when they laughed in his face, the anger was tempered slightly by confusion. Why weren't these peasants quivering in their boots at the mere sight of him? Nax raised a hand to neck level in a choking grip whilst lofting the other overhead as if cradling some orb. Nothing happened. Rage was now replaced by confusion and perhaps even some fear as he snatched some food and ran, huddling in an alley with only a cloak to protect him from the elements. Slowly the realization dawned on him that he had lost something very important and that he would have to work like some lowly wizard to get it back. Stealing a spellbook and focus, he picked up a rumor. The royal family was looking for an object of great power. Something he could keep for himself, perchance? If you are a bandit in the north of Pedina, you better watch the shadows. Tales tell of a carnage fueled demon that will find you should you gather too much fame. The Grim. It has been some time since Noctis Reaver took on that persona. For him, the story started when bandits pillaged a small farmer's village he lived in, when he ignored the knife at his throat to save his sister. As he lay on the floor and felt life leave him, he bargained with death. You are willing to pay for your soul by servitude, and for her life with what is equal to her worth. With the dagger that slit his throat in hand, Noctis took up the mantle of Bounty Hunter and started the laborious journey of evening the skills. It was a few years later when a royal courier came looking for the Grim to get rid of some nobleman the king himself could not be seen taking action against. His Royal Highness King Ansel would be most pleased to hear of your acceptance of this task and would be most grateful for your services. Noctis didn't care much for his employers. A soul was a soul. Completing his task with ease, he set out for the capital of Astrakhani to collect his payment and to collect a new unexpected job one that required him to join up with a motley group of five, who he introduced himself to as Reaver. Loving to play parts of mystery and intrigue, it was both mantle and name that Eridrian put upon himself. Leaving an unexciting life and a sad past behind entirely, he surrounded himself with the more magical and dangerous aspects of the Feywild and became an emissary for the Seelic Court, spreading the good word. Yet curiosity still plagued the Aladrin. Often he went to those big doors wrought from golden branches. No noise could be heard through them, but he knew court would be in session. There had to be another way in. Searching the ever-changing halls, a voice like a soft summer's breeze interrupted his sneaking. Lost a path? And ever since, Eridrian walked with renewed step and in her name. His journey to the material plane began when he received a direct summon from her to find and retrieve an artifact of great power in the form of a book. Setting out, Eridrian infiltrated a strange and dull palace, working together with a group of hired humans. Dodging traps and guards, he managed to retrieve the mysterious tome. Its cover slightly hairy and of an ever-shifting grey colour, and with a closed eye on the front. Wanting to quickly escape, he used the plane shift scroll that Tatiana had given him, only to feel an uncanny tug mid-teleport. And rather than finding himself in the Seely Halls, 
he found himself unceremoniously dumped in the bathtub of a very confused doctor. The direction of Luna gets covered in complete pitch darkness. Okay. Um. And she hears in her head, stay. You get back. You don't get to tell me that. And then she gets, uh, don't ask questions. Please. Finn. Immediately over to Greki. Last, and the last of my diamonds. I, re I cast Revivify. Okay. That's all the diamonds spent. She'd do so. See Greki just look up at you. His tongue out of the mouth. Ears kind of come up. And immediately looks over at Denarian. Now, with your high perception, Finn, the way that Greki is lying, it very much looks like he has fallen down standing over Denarian's body. Sam. Um, I drop a third level Cure Wounds into Denarian and yell at Reaver, are we clear yet? Um, everything, all the fire, everything, black fire, rage, everything, now that Denarian's awake again, just pff, gone. 17 points of healing into Denarian and okay, the stress <sighs> begins to abate a little and I just lower, look over uh, Greki, who is alive, and I'm relieved by this, and I just say, "Good boy, Greki," and I inspire him. He's just starting to like gently crawl over to Denarian's chest, which Denarian, you're a bruise and battered. It fucking hurts, but he just starts licking your face. I will cast Healing Spirit and make a little butterfly in my hand. It's gonna fly over and land on Greggy's snoot. He's like starting to do the like. <laughs> We're just gonna heal him. Okay. Or some amount. May I quickly reach out one hand upon to near and shoulder, one hand on Greggy, and channel the divinity again, and they both get 25 HP. Okay. Another 25. Um, to Luna. Mm hmm. Um, and in her head, um, sorry, stay in the circle, um, go back to the house, the person that's here can't see you, or everything's screwed. I'll talk more when we get back, you but get I a... don't want this person to see you. You get a... You better. Please. But there is a, like a, there's a petulance, but there's a hint, a tone in her voice that implies that, okay, you know, she's taking you seriously. So if she was able to see everything, she'd have seen Reaver like how, she, how he was, but mm -hmm. also seen Reaver in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Um, he wipes his face and then moves back towards the group. Okay. Denarian. Thank you. Thank you, Finn. Always. That sucked. I can't even imagine. Uh, I'll, I'll also, I'll drop the spirit guardians. <laughs> That's just there's still this male <sighs> oh. Is the um is the shadow still there? Still there. Uh, I project it to everybody that the shadow's still there. Noted. Thank you. Sam. Um, how, how's Denarian? In fact, Denarian, how are you? Are you okay? Well, alive. Thank you. You. I'm glad to see you doing as well as you are. Um, and I would like to, I'd like to just do a quick insight check. I'm exhausted and I'm not at my sharpest with all the battle fatigue, raging and the magical back feedback from the spell. But uh, even with this advantage, 
it would have been a natural 20. That's a 26 uh, on insight, just to... Because I remember how Daenerian reacted at the time, and I'm looking for signs of that blue screen of death that uh, he <laughs> experienced. You would sense... relief. Um, also, a weird determination for something. Mm. So sadness, but relief, mm -hmm. and a weird, a weird determination. Cool. I take from underneath my jerkin the periapt of wound closure that I think on the back has uh, stop dying signed reaver inscribed on the back or something to like that mm -hmm. and uh, I just hand it to Daenerian and say this this should be Greki's now thank you I tuck it into Greki's collar Greki's still trying to catch the butterfly that's sitting on his nose mm -hmm. Um, can I do an investigation check for a pebble nearby? Before we do anything else, Nax. I'm not moving, Nax, I'm staying. Nax, can you cast your spell on us, please? It's Nax, just like... I'll, um, I'll walk over and sort of stand shoulderish. Kind of rub shoulders with the spirit thing that's watching them. Watching us. Okay. Just, you know, before round three happens. Four? I lost count. While I'm floating down still, I'm going to cast non-detection on myself. Okay. Okay. Um, the entity next to us, it was like, you had a chance to fuck up Nax at a distance or target him alone. But you made this personal to everyone. Because of that, you're fucked. <laughs> and then I'll, what, whatever happens, happens. Okay. Is the entity visible? Just to me. I mean, you could probably use your eyes beyond eyes. Is it true? I'm looking for Pebble right now. <laughs> Just a Pebble, like, within reach of me. Roll me d20, just a straight up d20. In beautiful, beautiful narration. That's a 20. I now get the 20. <laughs> As you kind of slowly move yourself, you feel something jab you kind of between the shoulder blades. You move up and miraculously below you, you see this beautiful pebble somehow no blood on it. I uh, pick it up, breathe on it, give it a little like polish, and put it in my pocket. Okay. Looking towards Viva. Viva is standing close by. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will cast Eyes Beyond Eyes. Okay. So, to you, this looks very different than it does to Reaver. Um, whereas Reaver sees or gets revealed to him an invisible presence, um, you rather see the, the type of magic that is present there. Part of me. And it has this weird, strange, um, like, bluish aura to it. It's like you see a, a shining, bright blue figure standing there, like ice blue. No features or anything, just, just again, just a, a silhouette. No, no facial expressions, no defining features. But it's as if you see a, a, a bright, light blue person. Are we inside a sphere of protection or something? No. Why is it not attacking? Do you ask me or do you say it out loud? Okay, I'll say it out loud. Are we are we safe? Why is will it attack? No. It won't attack. Don't think it can. I'm going to drag myself to my feet. Ooh. Shuffle. 
bolt towards Viva. Um, can I try something? Sure. I need Reaver's permission to try it. Sure. Just Please. take my hand and put it on the thing. Uh, Denirian was going towards it, right? Mm-hmm. If you're, you, uh, you can do this fast. Oh, okay. I, I'm, if you if you want to like, I'll just like it. nudge to my right as there. Like you get like a and and the main chat of just a. a Squiggly shadow person standing right next to me. I am going to reach out, and because I'm have one level of exhaustion, and this is an enemy, I'm going to try and soul suck it. So you put your hands towards it. Um, you're actually your hand is passing through something. Whatever you see here isn't isn't actually physically present here. There's, there's no connection that like reaches no. through. No. Nah. Oh well. I tried. Sorry. I'm gonna just have a sit down. What are you trying, Denarian? I'm just gonna walk up to it and just mm -hmm. like stare into where its eyes would be. Mm-hmm. And make the uh the healing spirit butterfly land on its head. Okay. That's all. As you see um, Daenerian walked towards you, Sam, where you see his, his eyes having turned golden and the butterfly goes towards the person, starts to like land, but just goes straight through it. There, there's nothing tangible, there's nothing it can land on. This is gonna fly just like where its head would be. Okay. And I'll just land there for a while. Okay. Is there anything else you guys would like to do? Uh, we Max need to leave. Spell on this. Yeah. Wait for Nax to cast a spell on this if you can. What spell? The, the spell that makes us all immune to being zeroed in on so that this can't happen? Uh, it's, it's a lot of individual spells. Oh, I see. I, I thought it was a. Uh, my apologies. It seems to be me that's the prime target, but if you're quite afraid as well, then we can I mean, make you feel better. I think it's going for all of us. This is telepathic, by the way, so it can't over here. I, th I think I think it's just... It, it's not been able to see you for days, thanks to the ring. Uh, and it's attacked uh, Daenerian now. I, I, don't think, I, I don't think it's just going for you. I think we all need the spell if we're leaving the house. I don't think we're going back. The house. I feel like this is something that needs to um... be dealt with immediately. Yeah. We should leave here then. Nice. When danger thing goes around us. There is something that I would like need to do in town before I leave. I know this. This. I must strike a bargain with you, O great power of d despair and darkness. I. I crave a spell slot, a boon of thee to enshroud me in your magical protection from this creature that I might operate in town safely for one night only. Oh, great, Nance. Are you Nance. going alone? I mean, if I'm protected by you, it's fine. This is... then, then they can't scry and die me. Why? Do you want us all to come with you? Oh, you guys can come too. It's just a, a nice surprise for someone. And then my usual show down at the pub. Hi. Gotta pay the rent. No. No. Are you sure? Y it's important. Yeah. It's very important. It's not. It's not de life or death important, but it's like uh, emotional health important. Um, we're dealing with life and death. At the well, moment, though. Op openly discuss what you're doing because if we. I was gonna cool. make a. Well, you remember how I fucked up and Finn's spyglass got broken? Mm -hmm. I was gonna do something nice for Finn. Or at least set that in motion for when we next return. Okay. I appreciate it. I really, really do. I know. Robert. And you're, you're about to say, but there are more important. Th yes, Finn, I know. I know. I just, I just look over at Greki and Daenerian. 
just go. Yeah. Like I said, I wanted to set it in motion so it was done later. Totally fine if that's not something you want, but you have I like... don't care if you don't want me to do it. I care if the rest of the group don't want me to do it. Because you don't get to tell me I can't do nice things for you. Okay. I went through a lot to get to the point where Luna is in a safe space where no one can get over. Mm. I don't think I have to tell you what I would do to make that happen again. Let's fucking do this. Thanks. No problem. Emotional health as well. And also, uh, the writing is appalling. Look at that scrawling. Oh my god, it's... is that common? <laughs> oh my goodness. Denarian, wow, you look down and it looks like someone has written with your and Greki's blood in the, gla in the grass. That That's not even spelled right, I say, trying to gaslight the creature. <laughs> what does it say? It says this is only the beginning. Man. Shit beginning, they all died, right? Wait, this is only the, bega the beg begging? No, 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 that's just not how you spell beginning. There's two M's. It is spelled correctly, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to make them da- This is my attack. <laughs> okay, okay. This is my okay. vicious <laughs> mockery happening right now. And okay. somewhere far away- so It's fine. It, it could be right, it could be wrong, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. We don't care. It's the beginning. <laughs> Not the beginning. The I creature, the creature that's been, or the, the silhouette that's been standing there just disappears. <laughs> <laughs> Did we see its head at least look down to check? <laughs> Roll a perception check, sure. <laughs> I get advantage because I'm seeing it invisibly. It doesn't. Yes, you, s you don't see its physical Four. movement. But you Four! <laughs> you have no yeah. idea, but maybe its head twitched? I'm going to assume so. Okay. That, that, that was always its greatest weakness, was its pride. Spelling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, spelling. <laughs> spelling. <laughs> okay, where the fuck is this person? I bring up my water bottle, clean the floor. The um, grass. The grass. Can can we go back into the house? Here, it's safest. Well, if there's not, we would you see the thing? I don't see it here. If we go back it to the hollowed ground, we'll be safe again. Hmm. If okay. if fucking. The greatest of dragons on this continent can't fucking get in. And no, 2-bit can't spell beginning properly isn't going to get in. On that, I, I fist bump Reaver. Okay, you guys return to your homes? Question, had Reaver cast Wall of Fire ever before? Yes. Cool, checking, thank you. A long while ago. It was also a, a rage response. It was equally terrifying. Yes. Okay. Make your way back into the hallowed ground. You see Luna absolutely pacing up and down the garden. Yeah, Reaver just runs and hugs her. She hugs you, mm -hmm. then she gives you like a shoulder punch. Not really meant to hurt you, but just to like, I can fight, you know, I can take care of myself. It's, it's about more than that. It's about everybody else as well. People who can. Fool. There's I you, could have helped. A dragon. I know. The problem is this person can send these things anywhere, anytime. Here too? I think not here. Not in the circle. Doesn't know you. Hasn't seen you. Can't do anything to you. Um, and she then she sees Denarian and goes like, Oh my are you oh um I am you, gonna walk up to her. And give her a big hug. Or sit your taste and get the blood off. She just kind of... Uh... And quietly in her ear, I'm going to say, thank you very much. I think I might have a quest for you later. <gasps> I finish the hug and then walk to the fireplace to start making some tea. You, as you hug her, you feel her, like, nod 
against your like your shoulder briefly and then um she's like uh i do mm, i can't heal i'm not a healer but i think um do i do this <sighs> and she reaches out for you touches your chest and there's a weird kind of energy that you feel being transferred as she casts it's harm. you die <laughs> <laughs> no it is not harm. i can't heal you but i could kill you you get seven temporary hit points as she's trying to help out um and you have a weird moment where you feel that um that that peaceful feeling that you were having earlier you kind of get a shiver run up your spine as you're reminded of that. It's a very different feeling than when Finn casts any form of healing spell on you. Mm. And she I'm... gets down on one knee and she's like, Oh my goodness, Greki, oh, you're the best boy. Don't go out there. I was so worried. And just basically gives Greki all the love and all the good boy scratches. And, you know, just make sure that he forgets about all the bad things in the world. She's like, I'm pretty sure I'll have some leftovers for you. We won't tell Denarian, will we now? No, we won't. Let's take a short rest, everyone. Get some snacks. Yeah, that's... Some wine. Good idea. Um, mm. Some definitely some wine. Uh, Reaver is absolutely covered head to toe in burns, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like... Prestigitation. Really bad oh. burns. Like... like for, like, now you look or, like skin burns oh yes most certainly oh. as in like okay, a, I, I didn't have resistance to my own flames until the end round there so i was taking like most of my damage from my own flame wall uh, in that okay. case i am I... below half health <laughs> you should have hey let's just let's just let's just chill um i we can have a nice song of rest we can drink my keller's okay. good tea <laughs> that is so cute. That is so cute. As we settle down, are, what, are we gonna? Yeah. Nax, do you have any sort of idea where to start to find any way to get to this asshat okay. that's trying to take you out? I mean, it seems evident that they're not here on this plane, Buzz. Plane? Ooh, I mean, extra planer. Do we know if there's a way to get to wherever they are? Do you know where they are? Do you, like, anything, anything at all? I think we need to work that. So okay, might be what in we need... Some of these books we found? No, I've got the perfect solution. I can take a brief trip there. Ooh. Finn, right, Finn, get a map of every possible location, okay? And now start asking your deity, <laughs> are they in this section? Are they in this section? Are they on this plane? Are they on that plane? You know, we'll have them in no time. I mean, yeah. do you think we're making a leap to assume that this is the place I'm from? That they're from too? I, I actually had assumed they were on Orion somewhere. Um, in like a, in like a, a frozen desert, but are we saying that we remember where we're from? I'm saying we could work that out. <gasps> okay. That sounds like a good start. Yeah. Do you? Need and the reason I'm making this assumption about other planes is because you keep seeing this misty creature that we can't. Yeah touch or interact with. Mm. I assumed that was just an invisible like scrying thingy like what Finn does. It's normally a little orb. But he doesn't appear there. Yeah, I know. That's because Finn's magic's like, eh. 
Cut to like look, five I look, minutes I look over at Greki. the same caliber. <laughs> yeah, I look over at Greki and Sneerin, alive and well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easy, you, I know you can F pervert the natural ago, order. You brought two people back from the dead and surrounded everybody in these like golden epic spirits that butchered <laughs> things. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. weak sauce, I'm man. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's funny because it's ludicrous. It's funny because it's ludicrous. Um, two th quick things. One, mm -hmm. I, um, Reaver, you'll heal an, an additional 12 HP as I put a burn salve on your on your burns. <laughs> Just like Reaver mid talking, then. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, you gotta stop talking and always be prepared. Um, Shit, that's what you said earlier during the sparring thing. Touche. <laughs> um, and DM, mm -hmm. can I quietly, as people are talking and I've just walked away, under my breath, mm -hmm. where exactly is this thing? As I cast divine, well, as I enact divine intervention. Ooh. You can roll. I'll do it on the D&D &D Beyonds. So I don't look at the D&D Beyond thing. You have it all uh, right. What's the threshold? Give me a second. Ten. G yeah, give me ten a second. Or... Hold, hold that thought. I'm, I'm, I'm coming in. You can, you can look around. Oh, okay. There's nothing hidden here. It's, it's no, just no, because I, I'll have to tilt everything. If it's... How do I see? <gasps> that Sam's real name. Game lock. It's not. There's nothing there. on the screen. <laughs> There's nothing on the screen. Where do I see this? Is it at the bottom? Not for a moment. Okay. Though. <laughs> no, not even for a moment. Oh, fuck. <laughs> because I never told Marissa. Last time I did this, I got 92. So let's oh, see. That's not what we want. Yes. Oh, 38. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Dying tone. Unfortunately, <sighs> you ask the question, you whisper it out loud, but you can feel your heart race with nerves and maybe uh, you're too distracted. Yeah. Yes. When I looked at the creature with my eyes, mm -hmm. it shone blue. Mm -hmm. Has anything else shone the same color as that before? Mm -mm. No. No. Do I... Roll me a history so... check. Okay, thank you. Where is the book? <laughs> oh, if only someone had put them all together in a really handy and easy to find way. Oh, our DM did. Uh, that's a nine. No, you cannot remember this color from anything else. When, so when looking at the rest of a party and they've all got the colors, yes. does it mean anything more than Are what kind of magic they're using? Um, <coughs> I don't believe Daenerys ever cast a tech mag. Did you no. have to take I... magic very early on and switch it out? Yes. Okay, in that case, you would go. Um, casting a tech magic usually allows you to see the the school of magic that spells from. In this case, it's not as much the school of magic that you're getting as more as it's the. Um, I don't actually know you've ever you've never tried to figure this out. No, so no. I'm this eating my own word. <laughs> Having a look around the room, if you look at Finn, it's very much this bright, white, yellowish aura. Reaver and interestingly Luna share the same dark colors. <laughs> Looking at Eridrian, it's like there's this storm of just orange and red and gold around him. Even Sam, my sword is active. Oh, excellent question. The sword itself, Ooh. yeah. Um, very interestingly, you see from the blade that he's currently holding, it, there's a weird um, clash almost, where Eridrian's surrounded by this like swirling, um, you know, autumn storm, if you will the sword just stands out. It's like 
you know when you have um, complementary colors in a color circle and it's just this high contrast that's created it's it's that type of contrast even though the colors that you're seeing it is a type of blue um coming off of it not the same as that you saw from the figure but definitely a type of and it's it's just a high contrast it doesn't it doesn't seem to go together at all sam has got these kind of sparkles of purple around her <laughs> nax is also surrounded by icy colors the same as the slightly different but very similar like if you were to if you were to take a, a paint swatch you know it'd be one one over so wait, to say so wait wait so nax is surrounded by colors similar to that of the assassin you've never looked at the assassins but of the figure that you saw standing there yeah yeah, yeah. the figure yeah. nax is a similar color what does yeah. that mean? <sighs> so I'm like hoping, so in my mind, mm -hmm. this figure is in a different plane somewhere. Mm -hmm. And maybe it's colors are going to indicate where it is. Is my current thought train. You can roll me. Mm. So uh, is, I, say, I ask Viridian, is your sword actually here? Excuse me? Is your sword here, or is it like elsewhere here? I mean, I've got two. I've got one here and one here. Wait, I look at... I just completely ignore you. Then I look at um, <laughs> Sam's horse, which I know is from a plane of existence, because it's a fake no. horse. We've uh, always said that trauma is a figment of Sam's imagination. To maybe. you, looks exactly like... Um, it actually almost looks like just, you know, the swirl of color and sparkle that you see around Sam. To you right now, the horse—the horse seems to be made entirely out of that, almost. So I'm trying to find something else that I know isn't actually here, that is like getting projected from a different plane, and does it match the shadow figure? Mm -hmm. hmm. Looking at Finn's bird, which you know not to be real. Yes. Um. It seems to shine with the same kind of light as he does. As he does. So it's yeah. a projection from him. Hmm. I'm going to try and like burn the color of that figure in my mind. Yeah, you can and... definitely remember that. I don't, uh, and then whenever I've got my eyes active, I'm going to try and remember to activate my eyes as much as possible and see if anything or anyone matches that color. You can roll me either an intelligence or an insight check if you want. Intelligence or insight. Yeah. Um, insight. Because I'm more insightful than intelligent, I think. 14. Okay. Um, there's... What you get is definitely a kind of um, link as to where their magic comes from, rather than what school of magic as you would with the tech magic. This seems more like um, what source of magic. Okay, you I... say this out loud? Or not share yet. your thought? Cool. Um, yeah, not yet. Um, do I know what source that blue would be? Do I like, feel this at all? With a 14? It's not familiar. It doesn't seem... Um, you you know would know that it doesn't seem uh, natural and i don't mean supernatural i mean in terms of directly coming from nature it doesn't seem like a you know a, if you want to put it very plainly a plant-based kind of magic okay while brewing my tea i just do a, a word splurge <laughs> with no breaks in it of that all that's just been discussed absolutely fascinating 
I would, I would really, if you ever have any insights about where my magic comes from, I would love to know. Because it, it genuinely feels like it's, it just turns up, which is completely unfair to Nax, who studies really hard, but is obviously more powerful and deadly as a result of this, so you shouldn't feel too jealous or angry towards me, please, please. As much as I would love to know where your magic comes from, Sam, right now I'd really like to know where that assassin figure's magic comes from. Sorry, I was idling. Um, what can you tell us about it? You said it was a an icy blue. blue. Is there a plane icy. of icy blueness, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, Reaver's been sitting, like pouring through like um, notepads and like books that we have. Um, and the, the book Casters Through the Ages is open. Mm. Uh, I think if, if, um, if you see if there's anything to go by, then apparently... Or if this book is anything to go by, what see if it has spoke about, uh, mentioned something about the frost bell. Does that ring any bells, Max? What about shadow fell? the frost bell. Okay. Well, let's presume that I take it this is the entry about Narsix at the bank and Yeah. Uh, oh shit, that's you. Uh, apparently, if, if it is, if it is, if then it should it be? this uh, book tells us that about 1200 years ago, they came from the frost fell. Very cool. Very cold, even. Uh, you don't know that, Sam. Trying. What do you mean I don't know that? You have no idea what the frost fell is. I just said very cool or cold. Uh, I, I don't know what the frost fell is. Okay. I'm just making assumptions based <laughs> on the name. Um, something about a god of eternal winter. Um, Iborg? Oh. Delzim? But that um, means we'll be going somewhere cold. Ah, but apparently, um, for some reason, uh, the book also says that um, it was a bunch of people in a desert that, oh. that decided to um, dub the sorcerer Abu Dalzim. And uh, something about Dalzim's drop, drop, drop upon their enemies. I mean, uh, like... Is this a, is this a hint? Is, is this somewhere we should go to see? Or are we going to turn uh, up? That's and... why I thought you were from a desert. Are we going to turn up there and they're all going to see Nax and run a mile? Or are we going to turn up there and these nomadic people are going to see Nax and treat him as some sort of... God, uh, Again, worshipped. assuming that this book that we found in the library of a uh, madman uh, is an actual full-on book that's liable and not something that was made for comedic effect. Well, who wrote it? Uh, I check for an author. <laughs> Which one is it? Casters Over the Ages? Yeah, it's Casters Over the Ages. Um, give me a second. Meanwhile, <laughs> let me just play some loading music. <laughs> Are you playing a song of rest? <laughs> yes, but I actually, before I do the song of rest, I wanted to check with Lyra if, uh, they wanted to, if they wanted to join in. Okay. But finish your other stuff first. From Lyra, you get a... Is there any? Yeah, yeah. Is yeah, there... we can play. Is there any? Um, is there any cross between, um, is there any static in the connection between... Um, Sam and Lyra are all in the uh, hollowed ground. Lyra um, is technically an object being carried by Sam right mm -hmm. now and being attuned to by Sam. Yeah, Harsh as that is. So oh, it's okay. We got function. rings. Okay. Um, Cast it Over the Ages has been written by a variety of authors. It seems like it's one of those anthologies that gets um, added on to over time. So, you know, edition one would have had one author and like 10 entries in it. Edition two would have had 50 entries in it because there were 40 more added on and there's a second author, etc., etc., etc. Uh Also, weirdly enough, um, like 
two chapters past, uh, I was flicking through Tacklin, is mentioned as well, and apparently they were big on finding sources of magic or <gasps> that was the the big thing for them. So, um, and identifying types of magic. So there's that avenue as well. But I do believe, I think when we went to the college, the college was no longer there because the God King had kind of swept all that shit up, up there in Valtac. Yeah, uh, that's right. Abletoft? Abletoft. Valtac's the... The continent. The continent. That's, yes. And the Goth... No, not Gotha, that's here. The place to the east is the one with the scary door and the... The mountain uh, edge. Brian. Grimswold. Finn, have you hurt your shoulder? Grimswold. Uh, well... You guys weren't here when well, I, I took a nap on the sofa when you guys were, you know, across the other side of the world. I slept in a mm. funny position. And that's okay. I don't think tweaking it. That's all. Do you want like a massage to help? So. Uh, I'll be good. Yes. Sorry, I was distracted. The idea of giving Finn a massage. You could perform your sum of rest mm. using Lyra. Yeah. Um. If, would if Lyra, anyone? If, be actively listening to that. Just a question. I would be. I want to find out how Lyra plays. You're playing. Um, if <laughs> if he's going to take out the lyre and mm-hmm. play it, uh, Reaver will grab Luna and go outside and leave the area. Okay. Oh. Um, what, it's just uh, a restful song. Yeah, on your yeah. fucking cursed piece of no. Uh, yes. Um, just because this is a this is more of a me question, but mm-hmm. act, when you say active listening, like doing nothing else except listening to the song, yes. No, okay, well that, that's I don't I can't do that. Well, Finn might be able to, but I fidget like fuck, so no. But Finn, what would Finn do? Finn, Finn would probably be game. Oh, actually, Finn would probably if how would probably be if he could do this whilst everyone's preparing. Go around the gar- the herb garden and collect the herbs that we've we've planted that to restock the healer's kit. Okay. So Denarium's actively listening. Um Okay. Uh, da, da, da. Um can I have a constitution saving throw from you, Sam? Can we just get through one no. conversation without like <laughs> that, that, is an, that is an eight. An eight. Constitution. That's terrifying. Okay. Uh, at, least it's, at least I'm not being possessed. Uh, Let me go to the feel safe. Um, an 8 does not meet a DC. I figured. Could I have a D100 from you? On a note, oh, that's very funny. Uh, Weaver and Luna have went out to the campfire um, that's next to um, Denarian's okay. little abode thing. <laughs> and Reaver's. 15! Doing, 15. Ma- making the fire <laughs> on its own with a flint and steel. Okay. As you're playing, Sam, mm-hmm. um, very new in terms of, you yeah. know, different instruments, like having a new keyboard, all the strings are slit. Yes. Fine and advice. you're playing and it sounds beautiful. Very melodic. There's a few denarian listening. It's um, quite pretty. But as you're playing, Sam, there's this almost trance-like state that you reach. Mm. Very focused on the music. (laughs) Too focused. That starts to get out of your control. You start to feel like you're being swept away by the music and you suddenly snap out of it. You have successfully performed a song of rest. However, as you look at your fingers, you also have taken 11 points of slashing damage from the strings. Oh my god. She, she and sharp. And with a 15, mm. as you perform the Song of Rest, you slowly start to hear <laughs> in your head, just over and over and over again. <laughs> I don't know where I am. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I am. I don't know who I am. <laughs> oh my God. What's happening? Where am I? What is going on? And it's just this chattering in your head constantly. Cool. I'll try and uh, anchor her and bring her back. Um, um, take the time to do that. Just very rhythmic. You remember your name. You hear. I am who I am, etc., etc. This is how you got here. 
This is the path you took. This is your name. This is where you are. Eventually, this is what we were doing. Lyra stops talking. Mm -hmm. But you don't necessarily feel like... She stopped talking. That's the, the best you can say about it. Yeah. Just like... You know how when, when you are... Um, yeah, just, just soothing the lyre as if it were like a panicked animal. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. While you're all taking a short rest, benefiting from a short rest, whatever you need to do for that. We do get the short rest, I but I think you like get the short rest. Yes. I feel like that. that you get the short rest, you get the benefits from it, you do take and 11 then. slashing damage at the end of it. I I feel like her just going quiet and the DM saying, and that's what it is, means that there's like a definite but that's going to definitely happen later on. The what reaction to roll the reaction to rolling a fifteen seems more sequential than like, oh, she just talks for a bit. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, oh, no. so you guys are thinking about what to do next. Nax, you, if you want to, can roll me a history check. Yeah, yeah, and no, Nax, in the short rest, planning to go through, reread the Casters for the Ages bit and some of the other old books, particularly looking at the stuff to do with planes and things, comes across as well. I think the, there's um, quite a section. Uh, oh, I had it a second, I've lost it now. There we go. Lysander's Journal's got quite a section on... Uh, but sorry, no, the God King's Journal, that was the one I was reading there. About trying to find the planes in the different regions and things as well. No. We have an amulet, right? Yes. Yeah, one thing at a time. Yeah, yeah, History yeah. check first. Mm -hmm. uh, 22. Ooh. Okay, um, Frostfell in itself doesn't necessarily ring a bell, but cold environment does, and um, Strata, especially if you when you read now that you do have your memories somewhat back. I mean, in the fragmented flashes that it is. Um, you do remember living in a cold environment, being somewhere where it was very, very fucking cold, even to you. And um, you mostly remember when you think, when you, you, you focus on that memory of living in a cold environment, you mostly remember living in a, a grand place. Um, big rooms, very, very um, well decorated. And the name that comes to mind to you instead is Palace of Ice. Okay. Sorry, I was just taking that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just who's around just now? Is anyone around or my I am. I'll still be around. I think everyone is around except for Reaver and Luna who've, and Finn who's gone outside. Okay, I'm just going to kind of talk to myself about the things that I'm thinking and kind of gone through the book. So anyone's in the vicinity can kind of indulge. But... Uh, yeah, so just about, you know, oh, I was reading the books and the plane and things, and I can kind of remember this cold place, but Frostfell, it doesn't ring a bell, but the Palace of Ice, though, that that could be something. Yeah. I'm never going to ask if that brings any bells. That's... So it doesn't ring any bells with me, does it? And... It's not like... <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sorry. <laughs> Big drums! <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like the main stronghold of the, like... No! Or anything like that, is it? 
but you could have knowledge of it. I'll let you roll either an arcana or a history check, depending on which you prefer. Uh, which one is higher? <laughs> uh, they are both the same. Okay. I will do arcana. No. With guidance. <laughs> Thank you, Benevolent. Six. Yeah. Six? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't... It doesn't seem to be related. As far as you can remember, there's no um, unsealy business related to it. I mean, it sounds like... It doesn't necessarily sound like a silly connection to you. You know, if there are people who know something about cool places, then the unsealy would definitely come to mind. Um, but you can't... There's no link there, as far as you can tell. Okay. Now let's suppose though that these stories are true and this relates to my past, then there's talk here as well in Caster Through the Ages about Orion and SKA and some link being there in these deserts. Maybe there are answers to be found there. I All, this all started happening when Orion's magic returned. Be pretty coincidental for that to happen. These creatures starting to come, and it not be on Orion. Oh, I wonder if there's a portal in Orion that well, Orion's reopened. Noted in the God King's journal as being a place where the connections are strong between like, uh, flicking back to the pages the, mir the mirror planes mm -hmm. are you still outside with Luna? yes sure. okay. you said you could take a trip to the ethereal well, plane Why it was, it was, it was to, to end to the long to the, the song um, as soon as the liar went away we would have probably came back <laughs> but, yeah. I have a combat spell that's meant to be used defensively but it defends the caster by temporarily uh, moving them to the ethereal plane. It's not really a exploration type spell, but ah, sure right. I might be useful. As okay. you guys are talking about um, the mirror plane, Reaver Luna coming back in, Reaver having heard that the music's ended, you see Luna kind of perk up. It's like, oh, is that not where you're from, Eridrian? One of them. Excuse me, Luna? Sorry, what? The mirror planes? Oh, there's the Feywild mirror plane. What's a mirror plane? Um, th this is Tom asking now. Do I know that? Is that... Doesn't... I'll let you roll another intelligence check. <laughs> yes. Okay, just straight intelligence. Arcana, but I think it doesn't matter, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh. <laughs> Natural one. Oh my god. Body. Oh, what my, now? My three. <laughs> to be fair, what? to be fair, the DC was fairly high since planar knowledge is very um, obscure currently. Hey, Luna, what's a mirror plane? It's like. Points at a Redrian. Oh, it's an elf. You know, they invented trees. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with him. I mean, it sounds wrong, but I don't know enough to say, to disagree, so I'm just going to have to go with it. Or, of course we invented trees. Or else of course they, they did. They and bathtubs. They didn't out of the ground. Yes, that would be ridiculous, wouldn't it, Ridrian? I place my hand on Moon's shoulder and I'm like, just continue talking. It'll... No quiet. No, I just... I was just fascinated by your talk about planes, but that's all. We welcome any insight. Um, well, what's... As you all suddenly look at her, you know, <laughs> you see her very much turn into a 15-year-old where she's like, the entire class is looking at her. She's going to have to give a presentation. I kind of like, uh, well, 
It's okay, what, Luna. What's the you question? Got, you can fight and look after yourself, remember? And I Yeah, inspire. of course I can. What's yeah. What's Plus your D10 what? to whatever she's about to do next. Uh, no, we were um talking about um the the the, the frost fell um which may be another plane and maybe a mirror plane, but I don't know what that is. Well, I think um do you I'll have any guide, like I'll guide Luna. <laughs> Yeah, everyone just just buffs. <laughs> <laughs> she looks at Max. She's like, "Do, do you have any paper?" Paper, yeah. Pull out a bit of parchment dish. from my many piles. Fifty gold a sheet. <laughs> takes a takes a piece of parchment and like just picks a bit of charcoal out of fire. She's like, "Well, you know, you have us." She draws a circle. He's like, and then around us. She draws a circle around that first circle. She's like, and divides it in two. You have the mirror planes. And one of them is, you know, she points at Eredrian, where he's from. And then there's the other one, which is like where Eredrian's from, but different. Oh. Is it a summer and winter thing? No. It's more like... Reaver looks across the room at Fen and says, opposing forces. Mm, perfectly balanced. It's, yeah, I suppose. She's, she doesn't seem to have noticed the, the glances around her. Yeah. It's more like, like... And I don't mean to make it morbid, but it's more like people from, from where Origins from come in dancing and singing and people who come in from the other place come in quiet. Does that sound weird? Why? Oh, um, it's, it's black and white and boring. <laughs> yeah, I what, suppose. Wild. And then. Glare at cereal. Around that, you've got like the. Uh, what did you call it again? Um, the, the elemental shield? What's that? It's where. Oh. Fire, earth, wind, water. Kinda, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. So nine. she draws like a circle around the inner two. It's like, it's where all of the, um, I think, now here's where she's gonna use her inspiration dice and her guidance. Mm. We got her. Respectable? Respectable. For a, for a, you know, young, low-level sorcerer. Respectable. It's where where the initial, um, like, sources of power come from. So I'm not very good at explaining this. I'm sorry, you guys. So did you say the shield was, was where the sources came from? Or was between where the sources came from and us? No, it's the first place where sources come from. Does that make sense? And then outside of that, you have like the big floaty stuff and right. other places, but I wasn't allowed to go there. Is that where gods live? Maybe. When you say other powers, like the the original powers, as in, and I'll kind of like... Yeah, where's light and death in all this? Oh and no, gosh. they live like all around it, but oh, it's like more like I wasn't... Power? Yeah, but it's more like okay. I wasn't supposed to go to parts of the house, if you can call it that. I sure. That makes so, sense. What's, so if Regin's from the Feywild, and mm -hmm. there's an opposite one, what's the opposite one? I don't know the name. I'm sorry. We this is all high enough for that on the dice. I'm afraid. <laughs> Let's assume that the opposite one is the Frostfell. Yeah. Just because, you know, we had this lovely, nice, summery place in the Feywild, and Eridrian hates winter, and the winter is opposite, and there's two, and it's balanced, and we like balance. So that's, that's just a, It's not. It's 100% no. accuracy and fits within Surreal. the narrative. Just. No. Okay. Feywild encompasses all of the seasons. Oh. So what do you do for the other four? Um, the, the other four? Like, of the eight seasons, you encompass all, only eight. four, or. Yeah. Wait, hang on, hang on. What what season nope. do I represent? You represent uh, autumn. Correct. And if you had to split the seasons into two groups of warm and cold, where would <laughs> autumn sit? 
Uh, it would sit <laughs> with the cold ones because you're yeah. entering yes. into the cold space. And not in the frost fell, wherever that is. Okay. Okay. Oh, but maybe you sit with spring and you kind of go together with spring and then winter and summer get together, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's really a battle of extreme versus (laughs) casual. Mm. Sort of tepid, tepid elves in the middle. (laughs) Room temperature elves. Oh man, I'm sure there were... Um, I have not managed to successfully Google a culture that has eight seasons in time to fuck with Eridrium. Off the back of uh, Luna having a chat, Reaver's just going to go um, kind of like sit next to the fire and sit yeah. cross legged. And then some bandages. fire's going to flicker black for a moment and he's going to contact. Uh, How much bandages? His I day, yeah, the only way he can, that. which is rolling a saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> Is this contact planar being? Yes, it is. Do you want, do you want an inspiration contact or are you good, buddy? No, no, it's fine. I crit. Okay. Um, yes. Um, contact in the... Contact the other plane. Yes. My you mentally contact plane. some mysterious entity. Do you have anything in mind? Yes, my actual patron. Your actual patron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. As, as in, like, this isn't a, like, I've got time to casually sit down and reminisce and gradually get into it. This is a, I need an answer to a question that's pertinent. Okay. Um, you sit down to the fire and next to the fire, you have a moment where all sounds around you seem to kind of dim for a moment, as if you're, as if you're underwater and you're hearing everything through, like, Everything else is spoken above water. Mm -hmm. And you see sitting next to you, cross-legged, a very familiar figure of a a younger girl. You notice as you do so, all of you do this, Luna perks up, looks directly at that figure, none of you can see, only Reaver, and goes, oh, hey, and walks over and hugs the figure that's sitting there. That's... And to you, Reaver, mm-hmm. where she is hugging mm-hmm. is like slightly above where you see the figure sitting, as if she's hugging a person of different dimensions. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. Five questions. Okay. Yes, no, maybe, never, irrelevant, yeah. unclear uh-huh. ones. So this is this is one that Luna just literally told me that she's been taught by this person. So, um, uh, to the drawing that Luna sat on the ground, I uh, literally just one finger onto drawing because they're in the room, and I'm like, "Is this the frost fell? What, where's your finger? It's it's Ooh. on the one that supposed the 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 one on the flip side from where. The answer that you get is no. Is it one of the ones she mentioned beyond that she wasn't allowed to look to? There's a soft chuckle and a, oh no, thankfully not. Okay, by process of elimination, it's one of the, uh, it's, it's in the elemental ring, which would make sense theoretically from from an elemental perspective. You would think there would be a frost fell, maybe a fire fell, and maybe a. Um, but yeah. Um, so, third question is um, the the other one, the other section that's that I haven't pointed to within the ring, not the. So the, the elemental the, ring. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get a nod and a smile. I believe we actually did the thing that I was joking about doing. Yes, we did. Um, but this one's a bit. Um, <laughs> for the fourth question, is there a root to there in Orion? There is no pause. I'm thinking about how to phrase this best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nowhere is a direct route. 
Okay. You need to find a town named Nowhere. <laughs> Can we use the amulet that we have together? As you ask that question, you see the figure look up and around. Where's the amulet currently? Nax One has, has it. it. I remember. I remember from the edit that Nax has it. <laughs> very, very important. Amulet of the Plains. Nax, are you currently wearing it? I don't think I am. I think someone else had it. it I think I it's it, changed hands. I think I might have it. Yeah. Okay. That might be true. Of course. Yeah, because of course the creature can't see you because you're non-detected. Um. So. Can I have a constitution saving throw? Oh, why? Was it more blood for my fingers? Nope. Natural 20. Does, he have, does, okay. does, Sam, has the, does Sam have disadvantage because it's in the hallowed ground? No, no, no. Sam doesn't have disadvantage. Um, okay. <laughs> let me just get the dice roller. Oh, no. Second. Um, as she asked this question, Reaver, mm -hmm. suddenly the fire in the room dies down and you get the feeling that something's very wrong as this entity, your patron, turns their gaze upon the amulet. And all of you who are currently in sight, which I think is everyone, mm -hmm. for a moment the room is engulfed in darkness you can't see shit regardless of dark vision you see nothing Ooh, no. sam you feel a hand devoid of life quite literally Ooh. reach for you Ooh. grab the amulet off your neck what? and you take half of 71 which is 35 35. points of psychic damage oh. as you quite literally cannot comprehend what exactly is happening something oh is reaching for you and it is like you know classic eldritch this is beyond your understanding i love it but there I is it. There, something is reaching for you that is out of this world and it's not just out of this world from another plane it is out from the planes and you mm. feel almost as if you yourself are being torn from this world and it oh, lasts no. a fraction of a second you can't have me and river you see them take the amulet mm -hmm. and it burns in their hand and they turn to you and say, check for curses. And in an instant, the room is lit again. Um, I collapse to the ground. Everything's back to normal. Can I be bleeding from the eyes? Black blood. You're not bleeding from the eyes. It's not black blood. This guy's self. I'm bleeding from the eyes. You have lost your amulet. As the room oh, kind of like light, lights back up, I'm like, "Yep." I always do before we use the. Um... <laughs> Reaver, what the fuck was that? I, I'm sorry, sorry. I just assume it went everyone <sighs> black. You. Uh, Your deity is not fun. What, ha what happened to you? Ow. Um. As we've guessed, oh. Sam seems to be a purveyor of cursed goods. Um, it turns out that one was bad enough to um, need an intervention. Um, I think in the long run, Pardon? we're welcome. Okay, that's great. Um, uh, well, how, how, are they still here? I mean, they're always here. Obviously, but are they still actively present in this place? Stay away from my liar. Rehabilitate. 
But it's good to know if it doesn't work out. <laughs> Have you got any tissues, Finn? Oh my god, I'm bleeding. Um, because it's psychic damage, I'm going Not to. Bleeding. I feel uh, like I'm bleeding. It's, I have psychosomatic <laughs> bleeding. Um, because it's non, it's it's not like a wound or anything. I'm just gonna go to the sink, uh, and get a cold press and just kind of put it on her, put it on her head and give her a cup of tea. Emotional healing damage, but I'll use the healer's kit for it to make a nice tea or something. But yeah, you get 12 HP back. So if you're using the healer's kit, you've already used it once on me in the last... We had a short argument. rest. That wasn't the healer's kit what I used. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Then yes. You see Luna kind of looks like, Oh, man! That was so fast. Mm. Yeah, the brief ones are always kind of intense. What did you have on your neck? Uh... Uh, Nax gave me a lovely uh, amulet. What's... Why, why, why is the amulet gone? Uh, so it turns out, uh, keeping relics from an insane sociopathic dictator that claimed himself to be a god king turns out not to be the most beneficial thing in the world. Oh, apparently check it was... the armor that I'm wearing and the sword that I'm wielding. Uh, I think we checked one of them before. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Are you just giving me all the cursed items? I think Why do I end up with all the cursed items, guys? I, I, I think you'll find you took them all, listing them down as uh, merchandise of the God King, and then you kept them all because you were going through a phase at the time. It's okay. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Is it? I feel. I feel. I don't feel good, you guys. I think it could have been worse. I mean, I assume if... I... So... It, I can't even put words around what happened to me. Uh, well, but it hurt. Uh, you have asked me a, a, a few times now and kind of shrugged yeah, and off now, every time Now I, I get it, what but... you meant when you said it was limitless and beyond comprehension because I feel like I just comprehended it and it hurt. And now I can't remember what I comprehended. You can tell yourself that. And I just like pat Sam on the shoulder, sort of like a, like a, like someone who's got stung by a bee and is like, those bees, that, that is the, the worst pain talking to someone who got stung by a swarm. Like that kind of like, it's okay. Don't worry. You'll, it'll feel better in a while. Wait. Weaver, does this mean that now I can forge a connection with death and draw upon the black firepower? Uh, no, you sold your soul elsewhere. I have yeah. never sold my soul. Well, then you keep telling me that I sold mine, so then pick a lane, because either way you don't I have just the abilities my soul? that I know. Oh. I'll put a hand on Serial Goat. You already forged a pact with death. You died. I didn't. That, I, that, there was no pact forged there. That was a there was nearly, consensual though, pacting. That weapon was horrific. In fact, cursed weapons, again, it was a cursed weapon that we had. I'm what beginning to think weapon? you attract them. What, why, why would I attract wow. cursed things? Because I am a curse. <laughs> oh, you guys. Um, Can't argue with that logic. Hmm. Uh, and yeah, I attracted you, uh, Iridrian. That's why you're here. Um, long story short, we need to go here, and I point to the the, the exterior ring. Um, it oh, seems like no. uh, something in this sort of elemental area, probably, as you were saying, probably quite cool and cold. So before your thing took away that amulet, did you learn anything about it? Um, it's where we need to go. Um, we can get to there through various means, by the sense of it. Um, there's no direct way, but again, I think we just need to find the right gate and do the right things and magic the right magic. Now, I have been focusing my attention on a different spell from Lysander's spellbook, but I could shift it to something else now. It seems more pertinent to current circumstances. Um, there's a spell, Plane Shift, in this spellbook. Oh my god. 
that. That sounds. It reads like it might or it might not. <laughs> have you wow. developed? Have you developed a spell to rearrange the planes? You to just... shift them around so they're <laughs> closer? This is just the big circle around the outside. You just spin it like one of those Wheel of Fortune <laughs> wheels. Like, ding, 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 ding. I mean, reading through the spell, it does seem like there's a little bit of chance to where you end up. So, you know, that might be an appropriate metaphor. Oh my god. Okay. I'm horrified and intrigued in equal measure, which is probably how I end up with cursed objects. Why do I... And... It's fine anyway, I think I can park Finger of Death for now and focus on... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you have a spell called Finger of Death? Why does I... Weaver not have that spell? Uh, I'm comfortable. It, yeah. Well, um, Lysander did become an... Uh, could you be, like, really careful when... with a book? Like, I don't, like... You're, you're better off living. Lysander learned the hard way that Lichdom wasn't for everyone, right? Let's also presume, though, that the things we're reading about uh, Narsix, Athapan, Finar, about me, it's clear that Lysander looked up to Narsix in a kind of reverent way. So... Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've read the journal, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah. Okay, plane shift. So what are your plans? I'm just going to say this. If we're traveling to there, I'm going to need more diamonds. Mm. And we haven't earned any much money in saving the world. I mean... Or at least so. We lifted the curse of Orion, but Do we, we didn't get much money for that. Because it was an act of goodwill and selflessness, because we're good people. Do we want to go maybe call in some favors in some of the places that we've already been? Like, where are you thinking? I feel like uh, we've I feel like we've missed out by bringing magic back to Orion, so now they'll all learn the value of all the magical components, which is going to be not in our favor in the long run, maybe. But. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, Abletoft and stuff. Maybe. But we're going to be relying heavily on Nax's non-protection spell. Um, I think as long as we're not bringing it home with us, we'll probably be... We can just deal with it when we get murdered in our sleep. Well, I mean, that's why we just spend a small amount of time until we go there like maybe like an in out type of thing i i don't know how quickly we're going to I, i'm assuming that when we get there it's just going to be a shit fest from start to finish anyway so such is life man i feel very dispirited why can't it just be an easy straightforward go here do the thing save the world done get paid See, this is what I was saying. We are, I was all for the hot springs, but today is taking a real turn. Hmm. Um, Marissa? Yes? I guess. Can I... Well, I'll, I'll do it after after everyone's done what they need to do, but I would like to richly cast divination at some point. You certainly can. And... The question is... Where specifically on Orion is the best place to get to the Frostfell? A <sighs> single question because I'm a specific goal. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, because okay. there's like a weakening of planes or some shit over there that the God King was talking about, right? Where specifically on Orion? Yes, the best. The answer that you get, for a start, you get this nice warm feeling and the, the feeling that your hands are being held by two invisible hands, but they're warm to the touch. And 
It's nice and comforting. And you hear the very quiet, almost whispered response um, that says, where the planes are already closest. And in your mind's eye, um, an image of the the cave that has the portal in it that you took to the Feywild flashes before you. I will Okay. As I kind of like I'm sit I'm sitting on the sofa. Um chair. Uh good news. I know where the that's just all just, it's all good news to be honest. I know where we need to go. That's the weakest part of the pl uh, where the plates why well, the planes are the weakest what good news we've been there already it was the portal we took to get to the Feywild oh shit that's we can take the we can be 100% accurate and take the teleport circle to Saiwan and then walk through the tunnels which we've cleared out you can just teleport straight to the plates want to miss it's like oh two dear god no no, no 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 that is a lot of mountain range to get stuck in yeah yeah Finn, Finn, Finn has ptsd flashback to be at the bottom of the ocean <laughs> uh, <for the> <laughs> um. i'm tired when i got stung by a bee <laughs> I'm going to uh, use a knife to chisel a hole in my pebble. Okay. Make sure you get do a protection you... spell before you go out to see her. Do you do anything with said hole? Put a piece of uh, leather necklace to it. Guys, come on! What? <laughs> oh, oh! Let the record show I did not smirk. Oh, you're about the only one who didn't. Okay, yeah, you can certainly make your makeshift beautiful pebble necklace. That's all. Okay. Slowly see the sunset outside the window. Do you wish to do anything for the night? Do you wish to leave during? The night time, or will you be taking a, sh a long rest here? Um. Finn. Yes. Can you message Thorn Magic Weaver, thank him for his hospitality, and say we'll be back at some point, but we'll let him know beforehand. Oh, of course. I'll write it down it. before you cast the spell. It's too late. I already said it. Hi, Thorn. It's Finn. Thank you for your hospitality. We'll be back one day <laughs> and provide forewarning. It's hyphenated. <laughs> forewarning, it's hyphenated. It's actually one word. <laughs> Even better. Um, Siphon A, that's no two words. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Carry on. From Finn and company. By my beard, Finn, is that your voice in my head? Well... I hope you're all doing fine wherever it is you went. I'm gonna be honest, as much as I'm grateful to you for bringing hey. me home, <laughs> you imagine he's probably going on for some time. And I could feel the 
thank you for coming, but it's getting late. I don't, you know, I've got work in the morning. You seem genuine with the message. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's genuine, but it's also don't don't feel like you have to. Don't, no, no, it's okay. He's yeah. I thought him no, but uh, you know, give us some time. But we just saw him, so oh, well, you know, we'll give it a few months. So how, how much time and effort is it going to take to get the spell locked in now? Um, a decent chunk of change and like a couple of days worth of resting if I rush it. Best part of half a week if I take my time. Yes. Okay. Well, we can um, we can self isolate until um, the danger passes. Do we want to? Uh, do we want to actually go and get supplies from somewhere that isn't full? Considering that's something that we can do now. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. Oh, uh, we could get. Um, you could message um. Ronnie to come over, see if they have anything. Because right. people can come to us, we just can't go to them just now. We uh, should host concerts. Except see if she can't come in. Shall I message Ronnie? In, in the morning, it's late. We're injured. Not uh, at our best. No, it's just, I think it's, it's seven o'clock. Yeah, do now. Yeah. For for him to come by in the morning, probably. Yes. Rooney, it's Finn. We. What? <laughs> Looking to stock up. Come by tomorrow. Please. Please. We'd like to see what you've cooked up. And we're trapped in here. Was that only 20? Yes. Shit. Uh, That's it. Was that only 20? Shit. (laughs) (laughs) You get a... (laughs) Um... Well done for counting. I'll be there tomorrow. Uh, what time? Text back. Okay, uh, how many do it left? I've only got did two. Tom- said tomorrow I'm, I'm morning. Got- did he say? Oh, sorry. Did you say tomorrow morning? I said tomorrow morning. My bad. Okay. In that case, <laughs> did oh. just a dick. Eight <laughs> o'clock. Ten o'clock. How many? No, no, no. Like, I'll be there after breakfast. Um. Do you want me in cooking? Do you want me to bring breakfast or like? We should treat him to magic like cooking. Finn, if Finn announces this, I say we should treat him to breakfast because you know he does nice right. things for us. We're also, I mean, we'll make him a fucking hell of a fruit salad. I, I'll have my uh, ma- uh, my space boat available by then. We can have oh, we, shit. Can have, we can have a feast in the morning. How does that work with? How does that work with the fucking and people trying to cereal? How does that work with people trying to fucking find us? Like we're we're doing this. You you guys should board my boat. We. I don't think we can. Why not? Well, several reasons. Mm. One, your boat disappears. Sure, but like two, board the other side of it. Yeah, it costs a thousand gold to do and takes a whole day. Okay, that's fair. I, th- I think by the time that we would reach that level of warding, your boat would be gone. Yeah. Yeah, but like, when it comes back, it'll still be warded. No. Okay, uh, maybe I just have to imagine that it's warded, because it's all forged with the power of my imagination. I mean, I want <laughs> that horrible feeling that maybe if you. Uh, summon it here and it is some sort of pocket it's out with the ward and we can be attacked in there specifically That's would be hard. i think based on how it handled the feywild it does not inherit the properties of the plane it connects to so i think if we popped it inside the wards 
then the other side would be outside the wards. Which saddens me, but that's what we've got based on evidence so far. Hmm. Yeah. Unfortunate, but hey. It's okay, we're gonna fucking murder this guy, right? Next? Yeah. Eventually. Okay, no magic for... The universe is conspiring to prevent me using this fucking spell. Like, I feel like I got given to it, given it to me as a joke. Here, you can use it once and sample the luxurious delight, and then you're going to a plane where you can't use it. And then you're going to get murdered whenever you step outside the wards of your own home. Which, you know... Is there a table I can One day. I'm... I have a lot of feelings today, guys. I'm sorry. Until then, you can make do with my lovely door. Thanks. If you can just put it up outside, I'll, I'll make use of that. Okay. I'll give Greggy a screech behind the ear before settling down for anything. <laughs> I'll give Denurian one as well. Like, uh... <laughs> very appreciated. Oh my god. I'm glad we got there in time. Uh, that's really close. Like, I just, I don't want to chastise you for um, being your wonderful, carefree self. But I'm going to say five words, and that's going to be it for me, okay? Is that okay? Is that too much? I deserve you, you just these five, five words. That's the, no, I will say, I'm asking permission to be vaguely critical. Is that okay? That is okay. What would your mother say? Yeah, I can't do properly. Okay. That's all from me. It's surreal. Hi. It wasn't close. They both literally died. I know. Hence, why? What would your mother say? Uh, like, it is the most condensed chastisement I can come up with and deliver it in a loving, supportive way to my friend. I think, because yeah. I care about him. And Greki, who's your best boy? Would you wear like a snack? Would you, would you, would you wear? I feel like being careful is one thing, but I think if we were to look around the room at all of us, everyone involved, we couldn't really chastise anyone for being too reckless. Oh, no, absolutely. And... As terrible as it is, I don't hold anything against you, Nirin. Just making that clear. And I bumped Nirin on the okay. shoulder before I... You mean a lot to me. Head off like, to... I don't... Yeah. yeah, my room's in this house, right? I mean, it honestly depends on which house you gather. Well, it's in... the one that Luna was cooking in, so I'm assuming. Sure, yes. Yes. I'm going to snuggle up in my house between the houses. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go outside and pitch a tent. Joel, get ready for bed. One by one. The Despite everything, as night falls, you have that kind of cooling air that comes rolling in through the window, or, you know, if you're sleeping outside, it just washes over your face. That smells of flowers that release their pollen in the evening it's kind of sweet scented there's a slight smell of this unnaturally well doing well growing pear and strawberry blossom that comes in um throughout the night she'll lie under your blanket she close your eyes drifts off into a restful as can be after a day of such events sleep um, all of you, except for Nax. As you go to sleep, you are plagued by dreams during the night. Nightmares that are vague enough that they, they don't necessarily mean anything, but that are intense enough that you keep waking up from them with a feeling of like, ah, oh, it's just a dream. And you go back to bed or go back to sleep and you just dream of it being cold, so extremely cold and so dry that even your skin starts cracking under the dry air. You dream of blue shards or 
glass around you, impossibly close around you, encompassing you, the feeling of being trapped, of, of a feeling of whatever you are, your identity being taken away from you. And every time when you wake up, you go to sleep, and you have to dream again. And it is when you see ever so faint glow of sunlight outside, when you finally properly fall asleep and you get your, you get your rest, but it isn't a particularly restful night. And that is where we shall end tonight's session. Heavy. Oh my god. Heavy. Yeah. <laughs>